hopefully we out here on the water tonight hopefully we've got enough cell phone service give me some feedback there y'all in the comments let me know if you can see me hear me and all that last time we went live we had one and a half bars and buffered the whole time so hopefully hopefully we're in a better spot out here tonight looks like he's 46 46 people there in the chat box so uh i'm not seeing you're not seeing me not like on here you're not seeing me not like on you got Dan Marino. You got my moderator <laughs> over here. He's trying to log on so he can answer some, call out some comments to me. He's got Dan hey, Marino on the screen. here we go. Here we go. All right. You might want to ditch your volume there. Oh, yeah. All right. Gosh almighty. Pro moderator here is back to the minor leagues after this, y'all. We're going to get this thing started here, here shortly. Yeah, I'm showing. Somebody's calling me. Somebody's calling you now. <laughs> Let me see who it is. Well, I guess I'm going to have to be moderator and the talent out here tonight, folks. Let's see what we got some comments here. I'm showing 61 here in the thing. Brian Forrest, Toby's in the house. Yeah, your your horse named Toby got you a free entry into the reel that we're giving away tonight. <laughs> Eric Romines, he's coming out here to join us too. Eric Romines fishing. We got lines in right now, y'all. We got uh, live bluegill here on this rod. I got some skipjack here behind me. We're getting some boat weight. And we got uh, skipjack head in the midsection here on Eric's rod. Me and him tied off together. We're uh, anchored down, got a little uh, flotation cushion here between us to keep our kayaks from clinging. But All I'm right. anchored down 27 feet. And we're going to try to get some fish working in and out of this little cut here tonight. And hopefully, get something while we live that's the whole the whole hope of going live is get some fish on it and not be one of those youtubers that can't catch diddly poo on a live stream which Romines, i've been there what's up? there he is eric romines fishing and we like to call him pro mines yeah you need to put a life jacket on i know you're rescue squad individual but you know yeah. the rules he he says he says heck with that whole safety swimmer? first thing are you a swimmer yeah. i'm not a good swimmer well, there you go. We'll give him a pass. Eric Romine's here. He is, fun fact about him, he is dating Holly Tridell, who runs CNC Outdoors, who is sponsoring this live stream and giving away a reel tonight. And, uh, yeah, so he's out here, got his CNC Outdoors hat on. Where could a person get one of them at, Eric? I got two of them right here for you guys. Oh, hey. Look at is that. Holly paying the shipping on that? Because, by God, I ain't. Oh, they're for us. I thought he was giving to the audience. Hey, I'm his agent. My God. Y'all, <laughs> time out. Just promotional material. Bring them over here. We'll put them on. Yeah, right I, right hey, call now. Holly right now and ask her how much she's paying me to wear that hat, by God. Oh, God. <laughs> Tell her I'll do it for free because that's the kind of person I am. Well. That's what real PKAs do. Well. Professional kayak anglers. He's cheaper than me, so he's like a prostitute. I'm more of a high-end escort. And I will go ahead and plug plug power. Plug power, folks. Plug Just power. A little bit of a nose dive. Get yeah. A good entry point. He's for you investment. He used to be a there. millionaire. Now he can't. Now he can't <laughs> pay the bills anymore. He can't even pay the electric bill anymore Broke because of plug jail. power. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, he's got him some CNC outdoor hats here. You want gr blue or, gr or gray? I don't. Whichever you don't Match want. That's your shirt. You got. Right. You got. You got hot right CNC outdoors. Romine's anyway, Holly, I was going to try to get all this out here. Holly is giving us a Daiwa Seagate reel, SGT30 model. I use the 35s on mine, but the SGT30, really nice reel, just slightly smaller size, more of like a Abu Garcia uh, 7000 series size. And we're giving that away live to everybody who watched our last live stream and uh, did some contributions for us. I uh broke some rules there on youtube didn't know at the time i uh how's the pimp hat it was a what the, how's the pimp hat oh it looks good uh -huh. cnc outdoors yeah that's right there you go um yeah but uh youtube has rules for giveaways i didn't research those in advance so apparently you gotta be have free entries into it you gotta have the rules listed in the video description. You gotta have a privacy policy and, and share how you're going to be giving out per people's personal information like shipping address and stuff. I didn't do any of that. We just thought, well, people's gonna give me money and super chat donations. We'll just enter them into this reel to give away, to give back to the people. 
Yeah, we broke a lot of rules. So uh, unfortunately, I couldn't refund people's money because uh, Google doesn't allow that. We've learned that lesson the hard way. Spe so, spe speaking of, of Super Chat donations, we like to call it content cash. Content cash. And and now, since he's unemployed and this is his full-time gig. <laughs> he's already panhandling I, 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 at it. We're I'm, five minutes I, into I'm this. I'm a little disappointed that in five minutes in, we don't have any content cash. <laughs> oh, so, hell. You know, I mean, let's see what we can do. T Tends to get bites when we get these these registers ringing. The rods. Tend oh to my bend, God! So. Listen at him. He's like a homeless person That's on the right. street corner here. But uh, anyway, we're giving away. Even though I've broke every damn rule YouTube has, <laughs> we're giving away that reel to somebody that gave us the money there on the last live stream. I got a list of people here. We got 128 tickets. 127 was paid entries. And pro moderator here and his infinite wisdom gave away a free entry because Brian Forrest could, what did he, what'd he give? A picture of a horse named yeah, Toby. Yeah, and that got him an entry. A picture of a name, name, horse named Toby. So you're in. we got the list here. Eric Romines. I, hell, he went over there to the car for something. I don't know where he's going. But when he comes back at some point here, we're going to give away that reel with a random number generator. And Holly's going to ship that out to you, to your door. So. Anyway, we got any comments coming in over here, Pro Moderator? Do your job. Yeah, we do. What am I paying I mean, you for? You're, you're rambling on. Oh, two dollars from Derek Stein. Derek Stein, awesome my man. Videos. Way to go. See? Thank you, Derek. I bet we get a bite here. Let's watch real quick. Well, it'd be the second one tonight. We got set up about an hour ago. Eric's already caught him one. Holland back outdoors wants to know. Oh my God, fifty dollars from Kalina Fryer. Holy Kalina, Marley, let's go, man! Fifty dollars and Kalina, your name's on this list here from the last uh, live stream. Let me see. I think you were on here twice, actually. Let, uh, five dollars from Green Eggs and Ham. Seventy. Yeah, you got a bunch of entries into this right, reel right, here, Kalina, right, let's, from let's, the last time. Let's, let's let me read what Kalina. Yeah, has to read say what Kalina has. She gave us a ton of money. Actually, this is kind of why you do what you do. So let's let's uh you gonna read it to me or you gonna ramble on here i'm, gonna ramble I'm excited come on read it to me that. so she said love your videos up here in north dakota we get limited time to fish caught three carp last night between nine and 13 pounds i love the carp videos nice well thank you for watching the carp videos i'm having a lot of fun with it this carp fishing's kind of <laughs> new to me i've been shooting them in the past but <laughs> catching them on rod and reel is new and it's it's been a lot of fun they're a, a fun time <laughs> Thank you for that money there, Kalina. I appreciate that. And Chris hopefully... Bellinger, five dollars. Thank you. No comment there. Well, thank and you, then, Chris. Uh, Sunfish Assassin, five dollars is Justin's high end escort fund. I mean, <laughs> it's all low end. Yeah, well, thank it's you, Sunfish. It, it costs more than five dollars to get in my pants usually, we're, but we're, uh, we're cat fishermen. I'm pretty it's, sure you can get in his for less. All so <laughs> low end. Low end. <laughs> Who was the other one? Was there another one up hey, there, too? Hey, Tyler Kofer says, I just went to CNC Outdoors last Sunday and got a jumbo skipjack. I appreciate that. So does CNC yeah. Outdoors. Thanks for stopping by there. For y'all that's in town for the Catfish Conference and, and Pigeon 4, she's stocked up on skipjacks. So. Surviving with 812 catfishing for $5. Outstanding. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the for the content cash there. Dale Greenlee asks if we have snakeheads there. We do not. Uh, that is, a, a I guess that's mostly northeast of here i don't Snake know where we, i think they're up in kind of near the virginia yeah, border there i think so like dc virginia delaware yeah, i don't i don't know anywhere here close to us that has uh snakeheads that's on my to-do list so them snakeheads look like a lot of fun calvin revis wants to know when you're coming to virginia to get some catfish action i have no plans at the present time but i do want to fish the james river at some point so it'll be a trip that happens eventually Holland Back Outdoors says these super chats screw up my question. Ask your question, Holland Back Outdoors. We'll we'll try to, to pull, pull it out. <laughs> That's America, buddy. People that pay, you Bri move to the top of the line. Brian Simmons wants you to talk about your catfish sumo rods. He does. He sure does. What kind of questions you got about them? He said, talk about the rods. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> I don't know. You're the professional YouTuber. They're the chopstick. Master Series 2.0, that's the ones that I've been using. Now, I've got some of the Elite 150s, and those are a really heavy action rod. I'm actually going to be taking those shark fishing here coming up. But these are seven and a half foot long, one piece, medium heavy. Good action in them for the type of fishing I do, which is mostly suspend fishing. Uh, they're rated one to six ounces, but I've cast eight ounces with them, no problem. So, um, pretty good rods. I'm liking them. They're just, we're having a hard time right now with getting them from the factory we've got some supply issues with the epoxy and so 
y'all, man, y'all showed an amazing amount of support. When I made that video last week, we thought we had enough supply to get us through and it sold out within 24 hours. And now we're kind of behind the eight ball trying to get more because of this whole, whatever that, whatever they coat them things with, there's a shortage apparently. And so I don't have a good estimate of when some more are gonna be back in stock. But uh, anyway, hopefully that answered his question there about the rods. I've are seen you, Deanna pop up here. Are you going to Catapalooza this weekend? I will not be. I don't have any plans to go up there. I'm fishing a bass tournament on Saturday, so. It's kind of right there in that time frame when the event's Adam going on. Adam K. LeVon, watching from Holland, Michigan, $5. Well, Deanna thank you. Phillips, $10. Thank Justice, you, Deanna. I'm glad to see you succeeding. You deserve it. Keith Hensley, $5. Justin, your My man isn't as good as Catfish Dave. Well, that's the truth. Catfish yeah. Dave's got him a woman on the channel now. There we go. Thank you, Keith. I appreciate that. Reeling with Ray for Toby. You're doing all the work tonight. L -O -L. <laughs> and thank you, Adam. And uh, who was the other one here? Preston. Reeling Dave with Ray. Thank you. At $2. And Deanna, a, um, thank you, Deanna, for the, the donation. But that, that triggered something in my mind, Deanna. So beside your name in the comment box should be a little wrench icon, I believe. And so what I've done is because we got some assholes that pop up on my channel from time to time, I have added some live stream moderators. And Deanna, you're one of them I, I added. So if you see somebody get out of line and you're in here, block their ass permanent. But we got you, Kayak Mike, Stephen Hare, Killer B74 Outdoors, Palmetto Cats, and Tom Wascom. I went through and just added some people that I see regularly on here and that you know I interact with and stuff. So if I called out your name, you have blocking powers. Make his job easier tonight by getting rid of some people if they <laughs> if need be. Y'all go ahead and block me. That'll do yep. me a huge favor. Yeah. <laughs> Keep me from firing him after this over. Go ahead and block him. <laughs> oh, buddy. Somebody here asked, and I, I just just wanted to ask the question, do you prefer to fish above or below the dams? Well, you technically, technically right now, we are above and below the dam, depending on which dam you're talking about. But generally, I am what would be considered above the dam because current flow. Once they turn the generators on below our dams anyway, it's too strong for me in the kayak. <laughs> what do you like? You're having private conversations again over here, Eric. <laughs> You got stuff going on I ain't aware of. Uh, so Lynn H, I always am planning on fishing with a woman in the future. Now I don't know about Justin. I don't know, you know, what his deal is. Yeah, do I need ever, me. Do you ever plan on fishing with any women in the future? I'd we like to. to. Get Holly out here tonight. Yeah, so. we tried Holly Tridell, um, CNC Outdoors. I, I begged and pleaded for her to come out here. I was like, look, Holly, you're giving away this reel. At least let's put your face on camera. And, and sell you to the people, and she wouldn't do it. And she's a straight up hammer. She's a very good fisherman, yeah. and she, she's very competitive in the- in She the won our bass tournament room, here a couple so. weeks ago. I mean, she's really good and very knowledgeable, runs that uh, CNC Outdoors up Bo there. And... Bobby Humphreys for four ninety nine. no comment. Well, thank Bobby. you, Bobby. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for supporting the channel with the content cash. Here's another one here, 1999 from somebody I seen Whoa, pop up. Oh, big money. Adam Cohen, Mike H. Uh, will you be looking into guided fishing trips in the near future? Uh, well, thank you for the content cash. Um, Mud Tramp for $100. Yes. Mud sir. Tramp's back. But the guided, it. the guided trip question, first off, uh, no, I, I don't. I've done the due diligence on it, but I just I ain't really my thing. I'd rather just come out here and fish and fish for myself. But Mud Tramp. Read, read off her thing. I can't. Yeah, I got a glare. Says, she says, "I know you very limited live streams, so can't do this very often. I enjoy your videos. You're straight to the point, no nonsense, and tell it like you see it, but never rude. And appreciate your supporters. That's the way to get her done. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Beck. I appreciate that. You've actually you got the most entries into that reel. You got 20 entries there from your donation last time. So." You got the best odds to win this thing tonight. I'm betting on you. <laughs> you got, you got quite a few comments about your cart videos. Levi says, love your cart videos. Keep doing them. Awesome. Um, I've got Dale Greenlee. Do you have any uh, plans to fish the Arkansas River? No, no plans to make it out there right now. I think where that is. I think. Uh, yeah, where's the Arkansas River at? Huh? Well, you know, Wachita, I don't know that that's the Arkansas River. I, that was, um, I can't remember what that was, but. Uh, I think I'm gonna lose the sunglasses here. I might be able to see some of this stuff on my screen. I got a glare. We got this sun up here behind us. It's a terrible location at Pro Moderator picked tonight. 
if we don't catch fish, it was all because of him. Daniel Leak for $5. Uh, he's, Catfish Sumo. He's, he says, my cousin has a friend that works at the dam. He said they sent driver, divers, divers down, down there. Big as Volkswagens. That's what they say. Wow. That's impressive. That is impressive. Well, well Daniel, pro, don't pro, take that off my commissions now pro, from the pro, sales. Promines <laughs> made it back to the party, ladies and well, gentlemen. Well, you're only 30 That's minutes late. Eric so. Romine's fishing. But, well, you, we, you got his line right there, Eric. He went... What happened? My God. Well, he's, he's anchored down right here by your line. What, I mean, what the hell is going on what, here? What would you expect? <laughs> what would you expect? We got a blooper video going on live here. My God. Promines went back and got his life jacket, did he? Sure did. Yeah, I called him out oh, on TV. God. He would have done the same to me. Now, I can't yeah. swim, so you ain't going to see me. Where are you going now, Eric? You're too far away now. My <laughs> oh, gosh, people. Well, you need your spot locks, what you need. Ever fish Minnesota <laughs> for flatheads? We have a good number of 20, 30, 40 plus pound fish. Dumb bait laws, though. Interesting. No, I've, I've been to Minnesota once in my life for work, and that was the only time. It was a beautiful state, but I ain't, I ain't been up there since. Killer B 74 Outdoors for yes. $10. Says get some kings and sharks with me in Texas, buddy. Yeah, that's. I, I'm planning on making it down to Texas sometime within the next year or two, so I'll take you up on that. And Killer B, you are one of the people I picked to be a moderator for tonight's live stream and, and future stuff too. So feel free to block anybody you don't like or gets out of line. Have Again, fun with it. Please block me. Someone yeah, block this please guy. Please block me. I'm so sick Weird. of hearing him, by God. <laughs> block that one too while you're at it. I ain't worth a damn over here anchoring right by our line. So Gatonda is asking about the James River in Virginia or the Potomac, and uh, I know you've made the comment that James River has really big fish in it. Yeah, that's probably the top you, you fishery fish, right You now. fish there. I have not. You've not fished there. It's on a to-do list. Very good. Now, Chunky good. Cat's fishing on YouTube. He fishes the Potomac a lot, and uh, he gets a lot of fish, and he goes live pretty frequently, and uh, so he's a pretty good resource for the Potomac. Dan... And I can't pronounce his last name. Green Machine Outdoors fishes the James from a kayak, and he catches monsters. I mean, all the time. He is always on the big fish. It's a true trophy catfishing destination. <laughs> Robert Gillian Jr. wants to know if you've ever been knocked out of your catfish while landing a fish. Have I ever been knocked out by a catfish? Knocked out of your kayak. Oh, knocked out of my kayak. I misspoke there. Well, or knocked out it. by a catfish. God, I mean, it. those things are pretty violent. Well, they I are. Mean, it could happen. But no, no, to neither. When you catch donkeys all the time. Well, I mean, I mean you know what you got to do. Oh. No, never been knocked out by a catfish. Never been knocked out of the kayak by one either. I have been knocked out a few times yeah. in my life. Yeah, he's, <laughs> Usually at a bar. He's got some stories. By a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. What's this bass boat doing over here? Is he just watching the show or Probably. what's going on? He's trying to ease on in to see us. I, I don't know what's happening over there. We got we got people watching on the interweb. We got people watching out here. You gonna tell me some more comments or are we gonna just Oh my god. We ain't gonna catch no fish apparently tonight, so Oh it is coming. Oh, this is the witching hour. We we planned this for like seven o'clock so that we could, you know, go live for an hour, hour and a half and hopefully be out here right around dusk and you know, maybe take advantage so of an evening bite. Here's a good question from Art Vance. How did you get into catfishing? Well, thank you for the for the question, Art. Kind of just by chance. I grew up, you know, trying to be Bill Dance and bass fishing and stuff and went into a local bait shop and saw they had, like, picture boards. Lack of talent. On Lack the bass of talent on the bass, there. by it's God. I'll, it's, it's I'll, I'm still awful hard, bass fishing. Hard to watch. But they had them big catfish there at the local uh, bait shop on the picture boards, and I thought, man, that looks fun. I want to catch me one of them, and got into it and sucked at it and i finally got one which the biggest fish i'd ever caught at the time about 20 pounds and i was hooked after that bass fishing kind of took a back seat i was all about catfishing so provide, you still you ain't even set up over there eric oh i'm set up I'm you, waiting on some bait. Provide, <laughs> oh i gotta get you why would you anchor down before i got you hooked up with bait how am i gonna get over to you We'll My out. God, this is such a... $5 from Green Machine Outdoors. <laughs> hey, I just plugged you, Green Machine. Yay. I was, just telling, I was just telling you was up there on the James River and catch all them big fish. That's free advertisement, but it ain't really free since you're paying me, so... <laughs> Mike ZR1 wants to know what you did at the job you just quit. Okay, I've been getting that question a lot since I posted that video. Uh, my trade before the whole YouTube thing was a nurse. I've been a registered nurse for 
a long damn time. I was an LPN from 2004 to 2009, then went back to school. He and usually wears the outfit from time to time. Right. With the so little hat and everything. Case, that question is coming, yep. it's already answered. <laughs> but no, I've been an RN for most of my adult life now, it feels like, and worked ER for the last 10 years. And so, uh, don't miss it. I'd rather be out here fishing, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Let me get let me get Romine some bait over here, y'all. Let me put the camera here in the chest mount. Unprepared. Unprepared. My Please. God. Because I had to work. You at least have a knife and cutting board and what all that. What kind of camera do you use? I think he's got Sony cameras. I do. Is, uh, I no Sony time. action cams. I ain't got nothing. I'm just gonna throw it to you. You don't have a knife. Oh, oh you, sure. here, here. you got that'll get you started. You just got two rods, right? Yeah, I just got two rods. I'll throw some more to you. You ain't got no knife either. No. You ain't got no cutting board. I got a cutting board right here. Was you bass fishing tonight? <laughs> I'm gonna give him so much shit tonight. If you got recognized out in town and I know he never gets recognized. Now I've had some interesting stories with he, the whole getting recognized. He'll thing. get recognized at boat ramps and I have had to yeah. shoot some photos with some fans, which is, is gut wrenching. Yeah. Because they don't, you know. They don't realize that I'm one of the top ranked PKAs in the country. Yeah, nobody wants a picture with him. Nothing. No, I've had people like Walmart, some restaurants. I've had people flag me down on the road. I had a biker one day come up beside me. I thought he was going to shoot me in the face or something, but he just recognized me from the videos and give me the thumbs up. And so it happens occasionally. It's weird every time it happens because I'm just a regular person like anybody else, you know. But Johnny Ramsey wants to know what kind of waiter boots you've got on there. NRS. Yeah. Boundary water boots. Yeah, I got a pair of them too. They're pretty nice, you know. They're just for what they are. They're kind of expensive for what they are, but they they nice boots. We got some more super chats up here. Is that has everybody been accounted for? What are you talking about? Super chats. Ain't you? You've missed a whole bunch of them here. You crazy or hell? Becca, give us a hundred. Got we got three, 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 three four outdoors. outdoors. I'm, I'm pacing myself. Well, here. my God, now. Howdy from Alabama, boy stuck in Indiana. Have you ever thought about coming to North Florida? It's some of the most underrated carp and catfishing. Well, I would like to come to North Florida. Actually, that's uh, what is it from? What is here to Jacksonville? Like eight hours or so. Uh, yeah, it's Maybe it's a reasonable seven. drive. It's not terrible. What we went down there to Lake Seminole, and that was about eight hours, wasn't it? Nah, six six, six hours. Yeah, it's twelve for you because you went straight down, well, straight back. You got that right. <laughs> Staying at the Swamp Gravy Shack. Circle, circle. Look, we put him on the couch at a rough, rough VRBO, and yeah. YouTube celebrities used to stay at the Ritz Carlton. I'm too bougie gentlemen, for that. So I, I'm he, way too he, bougie he, to be on a couch not, next to the bathroom. Not glamping no. at a place called Swamp Gravy on VRBO. For $10. Hey, no, thank you, Clint. No comment, but he's got a bunch of entries into the reel tonight, too. Bud Brutus, hey, Justin, with all the rain we're having here in Texas, does that affect how catfish are biting? Um, I mean, the rain itself's not going to affect it, but if you're getting a lot of current, uh, that can make fishing a little bit more predictable as far as, you know, using current breaks and things like that. But the rain itself, no, not really. More of a current thing. Four ninety nine from Hawk Bo Reese. They got a comment or no? Well, well, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Content cash. Cash, homie. Content cash. I like it. I'm all about that content cash. Oh, here's a good question from Robert Gillian Jr. Uh, Justin, I know you prefer skipjack as bait, but have you ever used mullet? Amazon Outdoors for four ninety nine. Well, thank you, Amazon Outdoors. Um, mullet for bait. I used it one time when I was in South Carolina and uh, got some frozen bait over at the bait shop. Didn't catch anything on it. That was just one of them baits. It looked like it would do well, but I didn't do any good on it. James Tarpenning, 499. No Thank you, that. James. Thomas Appreciate that. Thomas Sevsik, carp fishing live stream in the future. Question mark, question mark, question mark. And a whole I bunch, think we can make that happen. A whole yeah. bunch of emojis that are the one with the little guy, like, are you gonna do a carp thing? Well, you know what, we might. We might, yeah. I told him that if we were fishing for carp, I'm using dough balls. That's fine. That's right. I, I think that's a popular bait. You know, I'm just letting you know. You use the dough balls, and I'll use what works. Johnny Ramsey wants to know how you send content cash, and I really don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I, somebody will tell you on there because these people are really good at, at yeah. educating you on that. But thank you I, I gave content cash one time uh, to Palmetto Cats on his, and I couldn't figure out how to type in the amount. I had to use a slider thing 
And so apparently it's the money sign under the chat. So the frustrating thing for me when I gave the uh, donation there to Palmetto Cats was YouTube takes a huge cut of our money, 30% right off the top. And then when you, at least when I did it to his anyway, I got charged another fee on top of what I give. So they got our hands in everybody's pockets, man. It's ridiculous. And then uh, <clears throat> Matthew Lamaster, he says, how do you edit your videos? I use iMovie. I keep it very simple, very basic. I, I don't have all the video editing skills, but you use iMovie too, Eric. Eric Romine's fishing there on YouTube. We've been giving him hell. Uh, but yeah, he's got a YouTube channel too. He, you seen him about put my eye out a few weeks I'm ago. I'm strictly raw footage. There's no editing. No editing. None. There, Zilch. there needs to be some editing over here on this one, but especially the language. <laughs> Hey, so Dale Greenlee is asking about uh, what size uh, bluegill we've got. We've we've had a, a, we caught a small blue, a you know, fun size blue when mm. we first set up on a live bluegill that was I don't know three or four inches. Yeah, it was small. And then we've got a sizable one on this rod yeah. right here. The one that's on there now is probably in that seven inch range. I'd saved him. We put him on right before we went live because I wanted to have a big bait out. And then I've got. A couple more here just small in the bucket i didn't i didn't spend a lot of time catching some bluegill i just thought we'd just mix it up out here tonight have a live bait out along with our cut bait johnny ramsey no comment for five dollars thank you johnny there. ramsey and uh angling a's have you ever used low pro reels for catfishing some of my favorites to use uh, i have not now my friend mark cooper top Knox fishing he likes the low profiles for catfishing but it's you know, a preference thing. Fishing with Big Mike for $5. Have you ever considered getting a boat? Uh, thank you for the donation. Man, I've had, I've owned a few boats in my life. I got my first boat at age 17, but once I got into kayak fishing, the boat was just sitting on the carport. And it's like, well, what the hell am I just having this sitting here and not ever using it? So uh, I'll probably go back to a boat at some point just as my body fails and I can't sit in a kayak all day anymore, but no plans as of right now. You can't hear anything. No, no, I mean, make sure this ain't Oh, don't worry about him. I mean, we got these birds chirping back here. This is live TV. This is live, us. man. This you is, gotta this roll is, you got to roll with it. You got, you got, it's game time. They can't even hear him. He's sitting right beside me. Ga it's game time. <laughs> I'm over here spoiling a reel. <laughs> <laughs> Tank, oh boy, has, have we ever caught an alligator guard? <clears throat> I have not, but that's... That's on my to-do list. I'm going to hopefully knock that off in Texas in the next year or two when I get down there. So I, I have not, but we take a trip down to Venice, Louisiana, and I have seen McCormick cook one that was the size of his kayak. And it looked like it. it was, he looked like Santa Claus and a reindeer that, that was pulling <laughs> that kayak. He never landed it, but it was, it was a monster. That thing's get monster. six, eight foot long, oh, yeah. 200 pounds. Yeah, it was, it was pretty, pretty impressive. So... I don't even care if I catch one in the kayak. I just want to catch one of them Cisco things. Cisco Tamez asks, what's the best advice to find catfish without a fish finder? Um, We can't find them with a fish yeah, finder. Yeah, I can't <laughs> find them with a fish finder. I don't, I don't know how to answer that question. I, I would go to something like Google Earth and find you some places that are obvious, like creek mouths. I love creek mouths for catfishing, especially out here on a reservoir. Those are always good places. If you can find obvious points those are good places to set up. Um, if you're in a, a river system that has marker buoys, like channel markers, those usually define the edges of the channel for like barges and stuff. So you can kind of, <laughs> if you've got your baits fan casted, you can kind of gauge where you're at there along the ledge and that's good places to set up. So well, hopefully that'll be helpful to you. Elizabeth Chetwood, I mean, she says, have you ever thought about doing a catfishing for dummies for beginners? What the hell do you think this is? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go on YouTube, it's a catfishing for dummies. I got a two dummies out here with me tonight. Oh, boy. <clears throat> One over here didn't even come prepared. Ain't got a knife. Ain't got his lines. We're going to be done before you get a bait in the water, Eric. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we got almost 500 people in here. That's 500 awesome. people, we, we wow. appreciate that. We're, hopefully we'll That's crazy. see ProMind struggling over there. He's, got yeah, I'll just, he's the real uh, talent over here. I should just yeah. be filming him the whole time. Dude, y'all should have saw me trying to get chili dog in curves. It's a curvy road to get out here. Where'd you get the chili dog from, Sonic or Crystals? Crystals. And chili mm, pups? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I eat those about once a week. They're pretty good. Somebody asked um, 
about fishing for a rainbow trout? Do we ever fish for a rainbow trout? I used to all the time. Yeah, I, it ain't my thing, but. And then somebody asked about, have you ever used trout live or cut? That's a have great not. question. I know some people have and have done pretty good on it. Trout seems to be very palatable for many types of fish, in my That's opinion. True. What'd you mess up? I put my weight on. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Amateur. A amateur hour. See, here's your catfishing for dummies. <laughs> uh, there's too much pressure when you live over Eric. SC Deer Addict wants to know, and I think he may have asked another question about how long did it take you to grow your channel and what kind of tips do you have on growing your channel? Do not bring unpaid help into the mix. Yeah, don't that don't way. hire this guy for your moderator. Know, That's tip number one. South. Uh, but tips for growing a channel, it took me, I think my first, I'd posted some clips back in 2015, not really meaning them to be YouTube videos, but the first serious videos I think were early 2016. So it's taken five years to get to this point. But uh, the biggest tips I could give you is just be yourself. You know, there's a lot of people out there that they start a YouTube channel and they start trying to copy other people who are having success on YouTube. and what you ultimately end up in that situation instead of being you know 100 percent authentic you people are just getting a generic version of whatever else they're watching so be yourself and there's an audience for everybody i mean whatever you like there is somebody out there and you know worst case scenario your channel don't blow up you don't make any money from it but you're still going to find a community of people who are like-minded and interested in the same thing as you are to be your new community and be friends with. So it's a it's a rewarding thing, even if financially it never pans out. Amen. I'm motivated. You gonna start a channel now? That's motivational speaking right there, no. Stay hard. <laughs> <laughs> David Goggins, that's motivation. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to, to recognize 217 Rebel Outdoors for five dollars. Hey, thank you, 217 Rebel Outdoors. Been a huge supporter for a while. Helped help started his own uh, channel. Keep them lines tight. Well, thank you. I appreciate the content, Cash. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Becca, I mean Becca, hundred dollars again. So she is awesome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's Dave Gatton with a twenty. I see that on there. My gosh, he he's he, see he, he all he cares about is money. Everybody, it's well, all about the content. Well, yeah, how I saw, I'm sitting here trying to. Try I to can't get other see the screen involved. hardly, but the the ones with money, oh, how they're up, pop up in color. I can see well, them. Got to deal with over here. What what's the, what's right, David? Just take what's a deep Dave Gatton? We're gonna be okay. on. We don't have. I mean, all right. Get, get me back we're on track We're not here. gonna miss anybody. I feel okay? like we're missing Everything somebody. Everything is good. That's all good. Eric can he can't even get his rod holder. Live, live, live <laughs> gizzard shad or live bluegill do you prefer? Is that Dave Gatton asking me that? I no, he says, know. love Who's the videos, watch them every night, thanks don't for knowledge. Don't worry about the money people Well, yet. Dave Gatton gave me $20. He's I getting understand. acknowledged, by gosh. I'm going to, oh, I got it. Dave Trey said, Ivy gave me four ninety nine. Thank oh, you, Trey. Boy, here we go. <clears throat> Terry McKinney, have you considered adding Patreon since you're going full-time making videos? Watch your video as soon as you post it. Well, thank you, Terry. Um, no, I'm not Do doing that. you want to moderate your own video? I'm going to have to. You won't answer the people <laughs> who's got the, the uh, money going. But no, I don't have no Patreon account set up. People people do that and, and, and donate through it, but they take such a huge percentage. It's kind of like these YouTube live streams here. They take like 30%. It's a ridiculous amount. And I hate for people to be giving me money and it go to some corporation instead of me, you know. I'd rather Brian you just Owens keep it. $2. Brian Owens, thank you. I never saw the... Uh, who, who didn't you see? The, the, well, maybe I'm behind on your you, screen. You're, you, you, I'm yeah, buffering you, on you. You're something. You're something, all right. Opinion Nation USA, uh -huh. cha-ching, good buddy, 499 Thank you there. Pro Minds is all set up now. He's Opinion all Nation USA, well, thank you. Should... Uh, you all set up now, Eric. Eric's had a long day. He had to go to Sevierville for his job, turn around, go back to Maryville to get his car and kayak, then come all the way over here. How long did it take you to get here? About an hour, didn't it? Just to get from here to your house. And he's got to drive home an hour at night and then do it all again tomorrow. Do it all again tomorrow. I'm going to go fishing tomorrow, Eric. It's called dedication. <laughs> what is tomorrow? Has it got a while? It's, it's a day. It's a day. A day with a while. Thursday. You're probably playing golf again, ain't you? I, I dominated today. He he shot one under today. Right. Uh, pro moderator here did. PKA and a brilliant golfer. Scratch That's right. golfer. That's right. Nothing but birdies here, baby. 
What's your favorite live bait to use from Trevor Adorset? Uh, probably drum or white bass. Probably my favorites. Bromine should have had his girlfriend set up the kayak for him tonight. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's right. the comment that, of the that, night that's right there. That's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Holly, you should have come out here. This is fun, and I've got... Holly, we're trying to plug you out here. CNC brought, Outdoors, I, giving us real away. I brought you I brought you a whole cooler of, of cider, too, because I thought she was going to be here. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, she should have had everything set up and pulled out on the paddle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Holly, you should have had him some bait. I had to supply him with bait out here tonight. Somebody called me a greenhorn, and I don't, I don't even know what a greenhorn is. Is that a compliment or an insult? I, it's hard to say. Well, what's your hair? Exactly. Well, we got too many damn Eric's out true. here. That is true. That is true. You already getting the bites on there, bro? When I'm when I'm at home talking to a girlfriend and I one of them texts me. If we get dominated by the amateur, oh my gosh. I quit. You, yeah, you should quit anyway. audience, I'm out. You if should this quit guy anyway. dominates, which looks like he's... He did get hit. He's, he's got we might get a fish live here. here. He had one after it. <laughs> now it's a party. Well, I wish you'd catch that damn thing, Eric. We need something to break up pro moderators talking over here. A greenhorn is a new person to a job task. A new person to a job I mean, task. I would say okay. I'm a veteran moderator now. Whether or not I'm quality or not well, is debatable. Five dollars from Tyler Wan. Thank best, you, Tyler. Best advice for catching cats in lakes. I live in Oklahoma. 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 Um, I mean, anybody know what that movie's from? We might we might give you a free entry into the real deal. Oh no, don't start that again. <laughs> But, uh, no, I mean, fishing lakes, it's kind of a lot of what you see me doing on my videos is like lake fishing, really, because a lot of the days I fish, we don't have any current flow. So I'm in a reservoir, dammed up river here, fishes like a lake. So you'll see me fishing creek mouths, points, uh, ledges. All those places are good, good spots in a lake, the same as they are in a river. It's just when you got current flow, getting your scent out, it can cover up some mistakes you know fish can come find your bait whereas in a lake you got to be a little bit more precise you could also drag in a lake too you know as long as it's not a lot of snags on the bottom and, and use planer boards and get yourself a nice spread and cover more water that way all right we got something important here hacking your wi-fi my dad just had surgery he loves watching your videos and watches them almost every day could you wish him luck and a speedy recovery his name is jd so jd I'm not the celebrity talent, but I wish you a speedy recovery yes. along with everybody else in this. Yes, JD, I hope you get well very quickly. I hope your recovery goes smoothly and get back out. Here. Listen at me talking. I'm fumbling my words getting through a speedy you, recovery. You, you I hope you get back horn, on the water soon. <laughs> the greenhorn would not have, have picked up on that important comment. I mean, yeah. So, you know, take that in your pipe and smoke it. I'm stuttering around, fumbling my words tonight, and he's the one over here with alcohol in his kayak. We did that one for free. There was no content. There was no content cash attached to that one. I changed my name, donated a dollar. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. I changed my name. I wish he'd change his name to something other than Eric. <laughs> I can't tell you what I call him off camera because it's we the got social justice place. 513 individuals here and not a damn bite. Yeah, 513 <laughs> people watching us get skunked you out here live. There? You feeling it, Romines? You can call it. You can hardly call it. You got something chewing on him over there. We got some fish here on the graph. You can see them coming up here to my baits. We're in this little trench. There's an island over here and we're 27 feet right here. Our water temps have really heated up. But there's something near our baits. The battery's but... dead, so I don't have it. <laughs> You ain't got a battery tonight? You don't need one. Hell with it. Overrated. Leon H wants to know, do you play any instruments? I think I know one of my Well, I, I beat it. his ass like a drum every time I'm in a bass tournament against him, but <laughs> <laughs> that's the only instrument I play. Oh, boy. I love it. All right. Uh, NFRGT wants to know what we're using for bait currently. Well, currently we got bluegill out front, live, cut skipjack out ahead, got a midsection and the tail yep there you go there you go y'all didn't think i knew that either did you see yeah, he knows everything fred wants to know how warm it is it's freaking warm it's 80 yeah 80 it's really heated degrees. up here i think it's around 80 humidity's back 79 last 90. week it was cold man we were in the 40s in the mornings and now it's i think we're supposed to be 90 at some point this week so 
Yeah, we don't we don't do spring here. Andrew Lee wants to know. He says I've learned a lot about fishing for catfish from watching your videos, and I've gotten some great cats from my kayak down here in Louisiana. We like right. them coon a a double s s s coon. Y'all figure that out. Can't say that. I don't right. think you can say that on this video. That's why I didn't say that. Pro neighbor is a coon a. <laughs> yes, pro neighbor. His neighbor we call pro neighbor. I don't know where the hell he's at tonight, but uh, he's from Louisiana, somewhere down in there. I feel like when I'm looking at the screen, I'm looking sideways. I don't know which camera hole I'm supposed to be looking into on my phone to be dead on with it. There's your YouTube I, I don't know. royalty, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, even can't know operate which the damn phone. The one, the, yeah. the one on the left. Okay. Palmetto Cat says Pro Mines is fired. Yep, that's the truth. <laughs> They both fired. Oh boy. I'm gonna let Palmetto Cats do the one, do the fire. Timothy tonight. Roberts says we ain't catching nothing because we're not holding our mouth right. No, he's saying tell you you're fired. Oh, oh me? Yeah. And you're fired. No, I'm, I've been oh, trying to fire oh, his ass okay. for weeks. He keeps showing back up to work. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's I like the guy in that movie, The aren't, Office. Aren't we using Anchor Wizard right now? Brian Owens asks us if we're ever using Anchor Wizard. Is that what you're using? Well, he's got one. Promine's got Anchor Wizard. He's got a rope and a, a 10-pound dumbbell. Let's, yeah. let's just say he's a frugal individual. A frugal $10 individual. content cash. Bring Content bring cash. Hi, fellas. Raining here in BA, Oklahoma. Keep up the great videos. You do an awesome job. Justin, never change. Well, thank you. That's like a yearbook saying, never change. And I never have. <laughs> Did you graduate high school? Well, you know, I mean, I got a diploma. I don't know G if I actually. GED. I don't know if I actually graduated, <laughs> but I went through the motions, by God, like everybody else. Trey Ivy says we should raise the bait. And bait check? Who wants a bait check? Oh, my God. <laughs> we don't need to do a bait check. We ain't had nothing to hit them. That's a fact, Jack. We're going to have to catch something first. Pro Mines, before you got here, we had a big midsection on, and I was repositioning the rod holder and something about jerked it out of my hand and I was like man I think I just got a bite and yeah. he caught one before we went live it didn't uh, it didn't hook up yeah Trey I feel you in the water column but when you're fishing with YouTube fishing catfish kayak professional man you just kind of follow his direction and it is don't touch the rod until yeah. you're reeling the fish in that's right <laughs> you can't catch fish if you're up there checking your bait Dakota Goins, I asked how hard is the skipjack to get there. I just talked to him about skipjack, and I actually caught some with him a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's been a good skipjack season. It really has, yeah. And, and they're fun to catch, especially the way he yeah. kind of rigs it up. So um, yeah, We've oh had God, a really good year question, for please. skipjack here. Ever plan on coming to Ohio, and what hooks do you like to use? That's from Holland Back Outdoors. Uh, no plans to come to Ohio anytime, uh, anytime soon. Right now, I'm using Mustad Demon Circle hooks, but uh, probably be switching to Catfish Sumo's new hooks when they come out here in a few months. Any hot spots in Concord for skips from Ninja? In Concord, yeah, CNC Outdoors. She's got a full supply of them up there <laughs> in the freezer section. NFRGT, what's your biggest largemouth? I don't know if that's for, for me or for him. Yours is bigger, that's for dang sure. Well, that's a, that's Mark just a... Mark Knott says, from Sunny Lana and other nerds, would you do a cast net video of you catch a skip? They can't hear a damn thing you're saying this far away, Eric. You're going to have to yell if you're going to get Mark on camera. Mark says, Sunny Lana, <laughs> Illinois is here. Would you do a cast net video of you catching skipjack? Ask him if he's got a search box on his Google, because there's already two videos <laughs> on there, me using a cast net from the kayak. It's already there for you, buddy. J Rock, something another, 420 PS4. Do you catch any sturgeon? You know, um, there are, there's some big there's some sturgeon in, in this area. Yeah. Um, some I people have, have lucked into them, but I ain't never. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly right. They luck into them, but uh, that would be that would be something to attempt. Yeah, they've been stocking sturgeon here for a long time, but I've never I never lucked into one. I think. To say thank you for your tips and advice. He caught a 65 pounder last summer, all because of you. Well, thank you. I'm glad that worked out for you. Hey, y'all, shoot me some comments. Can y'all hear him when he talks? I can barely hear him. I'm sure y'all can't. You too damn far away over there. See if see if they can hear you on there, Eric. We're gonna have to get you a bullhorn. <laughs> 
Check, check. One, two, three. You remember, you remember Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart from the wrestling? Yeah. He had that bullhorn. Yeah. That's what we need for you. <laughs> These people, they never watched 1980s wrestling. I'm 530 people in here. 530 people watching us. What's the best scum. way to get up with... I don't know, what's the best way to get up with you off YouTube? I'm get assuming... Up with me? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Nope. I, I don't... Uh, if you're asking like how to contact me, thank you for the donation, by the way. Uh, through here, really, this live stream is about the only interaction I have anymore. I had to turn my messenger off and email my website off and all that stuff because it was just blowing up 24 hours a day. I just couldn't catch a break from it and catching a lot of flack through there. So I just turned everything off and just trying to trying to interact live here where I got moderators and, and all that. Brandon Shannon is up in London, Kentucky, and he says he will meet you at the Rock Castle River for some good flatheads. Well, I don't even know where that's at. It's but, not far. Uh, it's not far from here. Did he donate? Thank you for the donation yes, he there. he did. He donated $5. Five dollars. Well, thank Americans. you. I appreciate that. And thank you for the invite. Five Americans. Somebody's a Rock and Roll Express fan. I was more of a Jimmy Superfly Snooker. Jimmy Superfly Snooker? Or Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Oh, my gosh. I'm with you. Rock and Roll Express all the way, not Jimmy Snooker. Superfly. He had one big moment jumping Superfly. off the cage. Superfly Snooker. Come on, He jumped man. off the cage one time. That's all. And then he killed somebody. I think he killed his girlfriend or something. <laughs> What's the biggest live bait you've ever used and been successful? Uh... Well, I'm gonna piss some people off, but I've used some largemouth uh, about a, yeah. <laughs> we wasn't successful that day, but I've had some two pound largemouth get eaten. That'll piss some people Lynn off. Lynn Ates wants to know if you'd ever delivered a baby at your previous job. Uh, per me personally, individually, no, but I've been in on some action in there, been in the room. I've been in the room on that too. Yeah, we've uh, not my children either. In, in the ER, we don't like delivering babies. That's for dang sure. That's that's not our area. <laughs> we don't yeah. do that baby. Kenneth Ivey says, catch a fish, boys. No shit. Yeah, no kidding, right? <laughs> but we come out here thinking we was going to get on some action here tonight. I've been saving this spot for when we go live, and clearly I should have saved a few more spots because this one ain't working out. <laughs> I think just that there's been several questions about as you've moved into this as a full-time gig, do you plan to travel more? And I'm gonna, I am going to—I think yes. I think as, yeah. as things progress, we'll look for collaborations and, mm -hmm. and, and hit the road and do some things with some other folks in some different parts of the country. So, Yeah, here's the, the thing about the traveling is when I was working, so I was working as a travel nurse and for the last 10 years. And so when I was working, I was gone for half the year. And so when I'm home... I'm tired of traveling, you know, but now that I'm not doing that job and not on the road so much, I'm more inclined to do some traveling and some trips and all that. Plus, it's tax write-offs now that this is a business for me. I can write off all those expenses. So I do plan on getting away, hoping to go to North Carolina next month and fish with Elias V Fishing, uh, do some shark fishing over there, hoping to fish with Mike Baker at some point this year in Lake of the Ozarks, do some crappie fishing with him. And so definitely going to do some more trips here in the future. Chris Coleman for five dollars. He says he's going to start using golly, golly whopper in Illinois. All right. Well, thank uh, you for the donation. Hope you catch some golly whoppers up there. A tonos for twenty dollars. A tonos twenty dollars. All right. Cats and Carvin's Co. Virginia aren't biting yet, so switch to carp after watching some of your last videos. They are slamming the lines. Keep awesome. on catching them water pigs. Love. Awesome. The channel. That's going to be a lot of people doing carp fishing now. For Central Texas fishing for ten dollars. Want to say. Got my first video out, and you're a huge inspiration for me starting. Regardless, if if I become successful, I just want to share my adventures and thank you for your great content. Well, thank you for the nice comment, and good luck with your channel. I hope it works out, and uh, just have fun with it, man. That's all I could tell you. Just have some fun, and no matter what happens, as long as you're having fun, you're going to be successful with it. <laughs> fun fact, by the way, since you're from Texas, 10% of my total views come from the state of Texas. Unbelievable. Y'all are awesome. Tanner Meadows is a biomedical technician. Nurses are some eccentric characters. Makes sense you used to be a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. Yeah, yeah I could tell some stories by man, God. Tanner. Oh, boy. We got a bunch of ER stories I could gross some people out with. Ed Jones says he can't send a super chat, but please, can you tell me how you mounted that wood platform on your kayak without having access to the hull? 
Yeah, I've had a lot of questions about this. It's in a couple videos, but we'll do it again here tonight while we're at it. So I've got it on the gear tracks here. I'd replaced these early on when getting this kayak, but this is a bolt, a two by four with another piece of two by four to raise it up a little bit, but there's a, I don't know, four or five inch bolt. It's not a T-bolt, it's just a regular bolt, but the head will fit down in that groove there and not come up and then just, just the furniture knob to secure it down in place. Very simple, very cheap, very easy to make. And uh, you know, it's been solid for me, it's worked out well, but I've been getting a lot of questions about that in the comment box. And again, I filmed it and went over it in a couple videos, but it's, you know, it's long been passed and I need to do a video specifically about it, but you know, I just ain't, I ain't got around to it. You know, I've been doing too much dang fishing. Jackson McCurry wants to know, why don't you tell the location of where you're fishing? Well, we ain't caught anything. Yeah, why do you hell you want to fish here? Yeah, we ain't catching so, nothing. Uh, but we're on the Tennessee River, yeah. so, uh, and we're on the Watts Bar portion of the reservoir system. So how about yeah. that? Yeah, we're on Watts Bar on Tennessee River, like you said. My thing with the whole spot deal is, is if I tell people the exact spot where I'm at in every video, then first off, those spots get completely blown up not just from the locals who recognize my background, but then out-of-towners who come in and say, oh, that guy caught a fish right there. Second thing is I don't want people focusing on just that specific spot because what I'm trying to convey in these videos is, you know, I try to give the depth and the type of structure I'm on and the time of year I'm in so that hopefully you can take that knowledge and apply it to wherever you're at versus just getting fixated on, well, that's just some magic spot or just some lucky spot, because it's really not like that. If I'm catching fish on points in 40 feet of water, you can hit every damn point down through here in 40 feet of water, and you're probably going to catch fish on 80, 90% of them, so. $25 from Anthony Moore, JJ. Anthony Moore, $25? You keep slaying catfish and carp, and old Luke Nichols will want to have you, will want to have a word. Keep up the great content, and congrats. Well, thank you for the donation, and if you got Luke Nichols' phone number, send it my way. I would love to just pick his brain. That's the smartest man in the catfishing YouTube world. That is for dang sure. He's got two channels making well over a million dollars a year, so I would love to have some time with him. Danny 55, if you were a nurse, why not use trauma shears instead of the kitchen shears for cutting up your bait? He wasn't a very good nurse. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> Let's just get that let out me tell you something. You want to piss some nurses off? <laughs> you want to piss some nurses off? You steal the trauma shears. <clears throat> don't get bar them and don't give them back, buddy. That's a that's like pet peeve number one for all of us in there. And, and EMTs and paramedics. Yeah, and trauma. A good pair of trauma shears is expensive. Kitchen shears much cheaper. Joshua French Outdoors, do you use drift socks with your kayak? I do occasionally, yeah. If I'm if I'm anchored down with casting baits out and I got wind, like a you know, a stiff breeze, especially if it's blowing across the current, I'll throw out a drift sock. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> you gonna read questions over there or are you just gonna Would dick you around? Give me a uh, just, you got to keep the show moving. I'm, you got to keep I'm rolling with it. He's too minute, far away to my, join my, in and bail you out. My 15 minute break and have me a snack and a, a cold beverage because we ain't well, got no action. You, you better clock out. I can't even hear you. What'd you say? <laughs> we got Bass Motor going by over there. What makes a Hobie more stable than the cheaper brands? $5,000. Yeah, $5,000 <laughs> is the answer. Yeah, it's better hull technology. Uh, hey, this is actually pretty cool. I'll do this. You about fell over, I boy. I about fell over, which is, you know. Yeah, we got we got two fat asses here standing up, <laughs> showing off. Why don't you why don't you pull like these little ninety pound girls do and go stand on the bow of your kayak? I, I, I fall yeah, in. That, you know that that ticks me off. Yeah, these guys, they, these kayak companies, they want to put out a stability test video and they get some eighty five pound girl to stand on the hull of the kayak on the very turn of. And I'm like, who the hell's gonna do that in real life? I wanna see some fat ass like Eric over here stand up in the cockpit and land a big fish. That'll tell me all the stability I need to know about that kayak, but none of these kayak companies wanna do that. Anyway, my rant's over. We'll get back to the questions now. Dustin Johnson says we need bikini moderators and somebody retracted. Them. Man, if I could afford them, I'd have one. <laughs> I'd get a hell of a lot more views than what this guy's getting me. Yeah, jump on in there, Eric. <laughs> it's 75 degree water right now. You'll be fine. <laughs> There's uh, some, some squirrely comments coming. Do we miss here. any super chats while we've been while no, I've been going on rants? No super chats. 
Joshua French Outdoors, five dollars. Did you see that yeah, one? Yeah, I did. That's really okay. Nice. All right. I just want to make sure now. I won't miss nobody. Let's see here. Every used channels or bullheads for bait from Holland Back Outdoors. Yeah, I got some videos of it. Not bullheads, but channel cats. Yeah, bullheads here. We don't really have a. At least the areas I fish, we don't have a big population of them. So. This question is for me. Can you explain how you get so beautiful? I mean, it's just, you can't hide talent. Yeah, job. it's natural with him. He does some, <laughs> have some enhancements. I don't think the calves are fully real, but are those Calvin Johnson calf implants? <laughs> Went right over his head. He didn't get it. I'm, I'm trying to moderate some filth coming through here. Some filth? I got 15 moderators know, on man. here. I'm trying to do everything here. My gosh. Mad Mike's Fishing says, what's up, Justin? Christian Gabers wants to know about what rods you normally use. I don't think she was on when we talked about Catfish I got, Sumo rods. Yeah, Catfish Sumo Master Series 2.0 is what we got on here tonight. Somebody's asking what the white rods were. Ugly sticks. Ugly stick catfish. Creek Baiters wants to know what cameras you use. His GoPros aren't greatest. Yeah, I use old Sony action cams. They're old models. I got an AS-15 and an AS-30 and... I'm gonna use them till they break. And I actually bought another one a while back on eBay for like 50 bucks just to have a, a backup spare in case one goes out on me. <laughs> as a full-time YouTuber, do you expect to encounter more crazy people as opposed to an emergency room nurse? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, it's about it's, one in the same. It's, 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 yeah, six you can't, one way, half a dozen the other. You can't hide from crazy, man. They are everywhere. Oh, you should boy. see some of the comments that I, I block people daily on here from some of the craziest stuff. Dove Lance says Eric is like Calvin Johnson. I don't even know who Calvin Johnson is. He's a football player. Calvin Johnson? Megatron. Megatron. Detroit Lions? Is that Calvin Johnson? Are yeah. you sure about that? Yeah. No? Megatron. Okay. I can oh my catch. God, I'll tell you. I can't run like I used to, but I can catch. I got hands like a cat. I won't comment on that. <laughs> I, had some, I had some very disgusting things to say that would have been said off camera, but I'm going to let it go. I'm going to be PG tonight. Somebody said send me your tuna. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've got some interesting Gosh. stuff. Eric, is that a PA-12? Do your job over, Eric. Be blocking them people. I have a 14. My God. Um, and if you're, Jerry, if you're asking that because you're trying to figure out which one to go with, um, you know, the, the, the width is the same. And the back of the boat is the same. The, the difference is your storage. I've got three rod holders on each side, and then the 12 has two on each side, and the actual front hatch is a little smaller. So um, I would tell you if you've got space and you plan to trail it, then a 14 is the way to go. You, you, you won't be disappointed that you got the bigger platform. I don't see any reason to have 12. Honestly, with well, you the know, pro, pro neighbor's got the twelve and loves it, but he's coming out of a native, and with all due respect to native, I mean that's like comparing a, you know, a, a Pinto to a Range Rover. Yeah, it's it's just, and and yeah. no disrespect to native. Well, the the weight of these Hobies are so great. If you're gonna deal with the kind of weight of a twelve, you might as well step up and and get the fourteen to have the extra space, in my opinion. Keith Hensley for two dollars. Keith, why, why do you not fish lakes like Norris or Cherokee? We do. Too far drive for me. I'm it, I'm too lazy to go up there, Keith. It, 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 they are a little ways, and they <clears throat> they can be very difficult. Now, you know, I've never you know attempted to do this with pro cat fishermen here, but um, they I mean they can be really good, but they can also be you know like I drove an hour to catch nothing kind of places. So, mm -hmm. um, but both very you know very nice lakes to fish yeah if they were closer i'd definitely go up there more any baits good for flatheads for a lake that does not allow live bait that comes from mm. antonos well i mean i catch a lot of flatheads on cut bait so if you're allowed cut bait but if you're trying if you're forced to use things like chicken or shrimp or stuff like that you're probably out of luck on the flatheads it's you need to be using fish whether it be live or fresh cut cameron Kreider, i love the videos it makes my day to come home from work and see a new vid notification on my phone well you know what it makes my day to get positive comments i appreciate that i know what else makes his day some that content cash what content cash who done it this time <laughs> nobody water rat lyle did no water rat lyle did <laughs> Five dollars. 
Who what, thinks we need to do a bait check? What's the top tip someone who needs to know before going out kayak fishing? Well, this PFD is number one, because that's what's going to save you if things go wrong. And, uh, you know, just be safe out there. Be smart. You know, tell somebody where you're going to be, what time to expect you back in case something goes wrong. They know where to come look for you at. But, uh, you know, just be smart. Use some common sense out there. Don't get yourself in bad situations. Don't go somewhere really fast current to start with or big boat wakes. You know, try to get on calm waters till you get your bearings. Get used to it. Where'd you see that question? It was on the super chat. Oh, there you Water go. rat Lyle. I got you right on. Yeah. I see how you are. I'm ahead of you over You're here, on. man. I got it. It's all about the green over here, the yeah. green machine. Somebody said, do you use a CO2 live jacket or an old school style? I'm old school style. He's got, got the, the CO2. CO2. He's pro, professional. Just more comfortable. A lot cooler in the summertime. Brian Owen says, what do you think of using eels? We don't really use eels, yeah, I don't, do we? I don't use eels. I think uh, Chunky Cats maybe uses them, I think, up there on the Potomac. Fishy Business NJ, have you ever had a serious catfish-related injury, be it in a fin, biting, spinning, etc.? No, nothing serious. Uh, I've never had anything bad. That's why I wear a glove, though. You know, again, the whole nursing deal, I've seen a lot of bad infections in my day. And, you know, I know these guys, they they think they're badasses, mainly because they... they grip a fish with their bare hand and get the skint up knuckles and stuff and yeah here in this nasty water you got a break in the skin integrity it's an infection waiting to happen and so it you know not going to happen to everybody but when it does it can be really bad so i just wear a glove We on pause here. We on 15 minute break. You gonna get back to your job? Dave Gatton said, "Oh come on, Jake the Snake was awesome. The best. I I I thought he the DDT was the best finishing move. I, I tried to DDT a guy one time. It didn't work out that great. I don't know. Macho Man off the top rope. That elbow was pretty badass back in the day too. <clears throat> Anything was better than the Hulkster's yeah, leg drop. What a lame no, finishing you'd move. Ever consider fishing as a co angler co angler in a bass tournament? Who's he asking, you or me? I, I, if he's asking me, I, I am not a co-angler. You was going to do it, wasn't you, Eric? Co-angler? That is not my yeah, cup of tea. Didn't. He was a waiting list or something. Weezer That's wants to know if you've yeah. ever been noodling. No, noodling ain't my thing. I don't like them people. I heard that. I like them hot girls to do it, but not, not everybody else. <laughs> Central Texas Fishing, how are the new rods and the old Academy Special Roughneck, is that retired now? Yeah, Academy rods are retired. Uh, I made them a lot of money. They won't even acknowledge my existence, so they done. They were the cheapest rods I ever bought and the most expensive I've ever owned with the amount of commissions that I lost by using them things. <laughs> but with them Academy rods, I did get back at some of them stupid ass pro staff people from various brands who was always attacking me for not using their rods. I proved that you can go out with a $6 rod and catch big catfish on them. So hell with those people. Can't hide talent, ladies Can't and gentlemen. Can't hide talent, folks. Let's get that out there. <clears throat> when you got it, you got it. I skateboard, something other. Um, do you prefer fast or slow current? Well, I mean, it's all pretty slow around here. I mean, fast is relative, but normally we're about a half mile an hour. So anywhere between a half mile an hour and one mile an hour is what we're used to around here. So that's what I go with. Hmm. How many people we got in here right now? We still got 510 people. Wow. $498 in content cash. That's amazing. $498. Let's, 498. let's, let's run that on up, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty awesome. Let's run oh, up. we got to give away this reel. When are we going to do that? You got a uh, one of them random number generators on your phone? I don't. I don't, unfortunately. Well, my God. All right, community. You got 500 some people. Give me like... Uh, we got to figure out a way to give away this reel. I got a whole list of people. We're going to well, give this thing away. Someone that's not in the um, in the contest. I got a whole call, list of call stuff here. And tell me they have a, an honest face. Y'all deserve a 15-minute break. You ain't lying, fish dog. Well, we, we deserve to catch a fish for the amount of time we put in out here tonight. Can't get a damn bite on camera. I swear, like, the last time we went live, it was a disaster. We buffered the whole time. And as soon as we got done, 
Rods started going off, and he called his personal best. From Blue Douglas Cat. Carlin, Douglas Carlinzi. Well, thank you for the super chat there. Appreciate that. Can we give Hunter Wurtzman a shout out? Hunter Wurtzman, shout out. There you go. There you have it. You just got one. Everything could come into West Virginia. I hope not. I right, this guy right here, Pro Moderator, was just in West Virginia. Just in West Virginia. What part know. was you in again? It doesn't matter. Don't matter. <laughs> All the same up there, he says. Beckley, Charleston, Princeton, Spencer, all the hot spots. <clears throat> Didn't sell a thing up there, did you? Somebody wants to know if you're sensitive on how old you are. It's like, no, he ain't sensitive about that. How old are you? 39. Oof. Rough. I got a few more months of my 30s, by God. I'm living a dream here. Okay. You ready? Random number generator? Yep. You got oh, it? Oh. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Here we go, folks. So we're going to do the giveaway here. It's, it's, it's zero. Well, one to 128. One to 128. 128. Ladies and gentlemen. So what we did, what we did to catch you all up, on the last live stream, Holly Tridell, CNC Outdoors, give us a reel to give away. And we had planned on doing... We got a little action here on this rod. Hang on. Oh, Hang on. Oh, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's beating the hell out of it. He may have it, folks. Try to pull it out of his mouth, maybe. That's a little one. We don't want to catch that on here anyway. Yeah, we do. It would get the skunk out, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, maybe he'll come back for it. What are you talking about? So anyway, <laughs> on the last live stream, Holly Tridell sponsors are going to give away a reel. And... I didn't read the whole YouTube giveaway stuff. I broke every rule they had. But what we did, people that give us donations. Give me one second. What are you doing? The community, we're good with numbers. We're going to do a random generator from ProMinds' phone. But thank you for the, the numbers. Yeah, he's got it on. He's got an app on his phone over here. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do it. But, to, uh, uh, yeah, I broke every rule YouTube has. And so we was like, let's just go with it anyway because I can't refund y'all's money. So anybody that donated $5 got an entry for every five dollars they donated and so i've got a list of people here everybody that donated uh becca mud tramp she had the most she did gave a hundred dollars last time so she got 20 entries uh brian forrest had the picture of the horse named toby he got a free one everybody else but you imagine how many people's gonna be pissed off if brian forrest wins this I, reel i would i would i might jump in the water and do a back brian forrest your entry 128 so if 128 yeah. gets called it's going to be everybody in the world is going to be pissed off at me. Are you ready to do this? I'm CNC ready. Outdoors. So you got one to 128. One to 128. I, don't, I don't know if we can see it, but... I we'll trust you. Please, 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 please pull this rod right here. You're going to have everything. To, don't worry. We ain't catching no fish anyhow. I didn't come out here to catch fish tonight. Hell with it. Watch a fish come up and snag that thing off the back. Take his whole rod out. He about lost the rod in a recent video. That was a hell of a day. He had to go chasing after it. All right, folks, it's happening. We're about to give away this reel here. Holly's paying the shipping and everything on it. Oh, boy. Oh boy. This right. one is for Toby. Here we go. Horse named Toby. Horse named Toby. If 128 gets called, God help us all. There's going to be riding in the streets. Here we go. It's happening. 66. 66. Let's go. Or Let's find 90, out who is it, it is. 99 or 66? 66. It is uh, Ryan. Just Ryan. <laughs> Ryan of all to names go. to get called. Go, just, Ryan. How are we going <laughs> to? Ryan, if you're, Ryan here, if you're watching right now, by God. Are, and if it ain't you, we're going we're gonna to send somebody. I, I was hoping it would be somebody with like a unique name or something here. That's that's odd. Uh uh, boy, that's boy. We couldn't have jacked this up anymore. From breaking all the rules to calling Ryan, whose name is just literally Ryan. Ryan, if you're watching, I'm gonna try to tag you. Um, I don't know. Can you still send messages through YouTube? You used to be able to. I know I can click on him. I don't know. Research Ryan. Ryan, if you're out there, Ryan, we're calling your name. Ryan, you have won a reel. Holly Tridell is gonna send it to you, but I need your contact info, my man. I'm have a snack. It may, Ryan may be a girl. I may be sexist. It could be. Ryan, male or female, you've won a reel. Contact me. Ryan ain't watching tonight. Ryan said, oh, Ryan was probably offended over the ball hair trimmer thing. I'd like to thank my sponsor, Bold Rock. For Are they paying me? <laughs> By God. It's just a beer. <laughs> 
Well, he's on break over here, folks. I guess I'm yeah. going to have to take over here for a second here. Brian Force there with the it's, Toby. It's hard work. Brian, I, I mean, I'm I'm glad Pro Moderator gave you a free entry into it, but I swear if you had won and all these people had given me He's money into right. it. <laughs> he might be. <laughs> oh yeah. Right. What what's that what's that snack you got there too? Is that a protein bar? Yeah, I'd like to thank my well, I'd like to thank my other sponsor. Think, think bar, but I, I they since, need to think about paying me if they're gonna get in this video. Since, since I'm a pro, I also have pro bars. Pro, what are they about five dollars a piece? I don't know. You, when you're rolling like I am, you just go, you just go to the grocery it. store and you're like, organic, fine. Yeah, we'll take it. Kobe we'll beef, fine. Throw it in the cart. That's right. All I right. do like this Buffalo cooler, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, you're, pro, you're promoting all these companies that don't <laughs> give me nothing. I'm to get you some, get you, some love. you need to send them an email. Now, on see, house. look, pro bar. Pro. 20 gram. Pro. He sent me a message? Delicious. Can't. You can't. Who, who sent you a message? I'm going to try to tag him. Because I can go back and pull up his... Uh, I went back and pulled up everybody's super chat from last time, so I'm going to try to tag him with it and see. If not, I guess we'll give it a couple weeks and give it to somebody else if he don't show up. Somebody's going to get that real, by gosh. Fish and we can't yeah, 523 that. people in here and we can't catch nothing. Christian Gabers, have you ever used Dip Attractant? No. $25 from Catfish, Catfish Reaper. Reaper. Keep Let's up the good go. work. Thank you, Catfish Reaper. That's what I'm talking about. All right, he's back on the job over here now. That'll get us a bite. Just got to get a little refreshment. What's your PB Blue Cat and Flathead Cat? Well, I mean, I just caught a donkey cat. I mean, I've caught two donkeys. I've you caught, have. Yeah, but anytime I'm out here, we usually catch a big fish. Usually not when the live camera's rolling, though. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, we just struggling here now. I thought for sure, but we still mind. We're getting right here now around dusk, and that was kind of called it. He, he did. He said. He said, you know what? I think we'll get our big bite right at right at dark. Yeah, because lately when I've been fishing, I've been doing in the mornings, and okay. we ain't doing no bass fishing out here tonight. I didn't bring anything. Yeah. My, my kayaks are wrecked from my little tournament. I just dominated. But yeah, hopefully around here at dusk, hopefully we'll get bit. Probably once the live stream ends, knowing how it normally goes. That's why I hate doing live streams. One of the reasons I hate doing them, because the fish never want to cooperate. If I go out and spend four or five hours, you know, I'm going to catch some fish, but doing it with a one hour live stream is tough to predict. All okay. right. Here's a great question. We've talked a little bit about this. Okay. Hunter Workman, is there anywhere I can chat with you? in private kind of catfish and you were talking about that app deal where you thought you might yeah possibly uh um, that out there that's an interesting concept yeah so i get and i hate being this way but when i had my like facebook messenger turned on i was getting blown up it got to the point as my channel grew i was getting so many messages i mean all hours of the day i'd wake up and have 15 messages and it was, you know, it was overwhelming. And people was wanting me to be all these different things. They wanted me to be their bait dealer and their travel agent and tell them what campgrounds to stay at and where to fish. And, you know, it's like, if I don't answer, I'm an asshole. If I do answer, it takes up all my time. And so I had to turn all that stuff off. But what I thought about doing is, is doing like some Zoom chat offerings, like, uh, you know, have people book time slots with me for, you know, money. Unfortunately, I hate to be that way, but again, time is, I spend a lot of time fishing and a lot of time video editing, and I just don't have a lot of time left. So thought about throwing that out there. I don't know if anybody have any interest, but just, you know, offering it up to be able to either like go over lake maps and stuff with you, YouTube consultations, you know, various stuff like that, but to just be able to pick up a phone and talk to people you know, I just unfortunately can't do that with everybody. I can't even hardly answer. I'm getting like 2,000 comments a week right now during peak YouTube season here for fishing videos and stuff. And it, I can't even keep up with all that anymore. I just unfortunately don't have time. So I fish hate to be the asshole, $50. but Woo! Fish Hunter, $50. All right. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Fish Hunter. Uh, relatively recent viewer, enjoy your channel and no PC humor. No PC humor. I don't oh, politically correct. So we're not politically correct? He's here now. He's here in our private conversations. <laughs> if you saw me and, and me and pro moderators text messages, you would wish for politically correct. <laughs> it would, it would turn some people against us in a hurry. Mark Knott from 
Sunnyland, Illinois is here again. Y'all can't hear a thing he's saying, but go ahead. If you can catch one more big fish, would you choose a big flathead or a big blue cat? Flathead all the way, baby. I'd take a bluegill right now. Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd take a channel cat right here on this damn live stream just to catch something. Oh, this is a... Ed Jones bought your shirt on Amazon and loves it. Well, thank you. Thank you for buying the shirt. I got uh, various items. Uh, I just, I don't, I need to come up with some new stuff. It's just that that whole c creating these images and Photoshop, I suck at it. I just, I need to hire somebody for that. If my moderator had any skills, I'd have him do it, but he's, he sucks at life. Matt Coke. I gotta test this. Can you give a shout out to my buddy Jordan Putney? He's a professional firefighter. Can okay. You thank him for his service. Absolutely. What's his name? Jordan. Jordan Putney. 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 Jordan Putney. Thank you for your service, firefighters, man. We appreciate you. Do a lot of good work out there. Absolutely. Josh Culpepper wants to know what reel did he win. Who, Ryan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he won a dial with Seagate SGT30 if Ryan shows up. Hopefully, Ryan, are you out there? Ryan, calling Ryan. Saving Private Ryan. Robin wants to know why you don't like channel cats. Because they're small and they steal your bait, but they could gladly steal it tonight on this damn live stream. Ryan Thompson wants, to give, um, wants us to give his three-year-old Maverick a shout-out. He's got cerebral palsy and watches every night. Hey, Maverick, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. I get a lot of people sending me, uh, like on Facebook and there in the comments, they'll do like pictures of their kids watching the stuff. So, Maverick, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Wish you the best, buddy. $5 from Josh Ching. Ching, Ching. Josh Ching. Ching thank you. Ling -ling. $5. Just call his personal best 15 pound blue after finding your channel. Keep up the great content. Congrats on the early retirement. Do a collab with Fisherman's Life. All right, I'll have to look up Fisherman's Life. And congrats on your new PB. <laughs> Colby Morton Fishing, you the man. Get right beside the power tower. I catch a lot there. <laughs> well, you done caught them all, I guess, because they ain't out here tonight. Right next to it. Yeah, ain't no fish out here tonight, by gosh. I thought for sure we'd get at least get some action here tonight. Thoughts on using jugs from Tanner Hughes? Uh, you know, it's fun, the jug fishing. You know, if you're out there with them, you watch them go down, especially if you got kids or something. But the problem we have is a lot of people just throw these jugs out and they leave them out overnight and they get drug out everywhere and get wrapped in people's props. And so I don't really like that part of it. Somebody said that you're their favorite YouTuber. Swalk Fishing. Justin, you're my favorite YouTuber. I wish I could do what you do. Keep up the good work. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. You set the bar a little higher, Swalk Yeah, fishing. you need to find some better talent to be watching on YouTube if I'm your favorite. But I, I like your style. <laughs> Ryan Owen says you should do a video with Richard Gene, the fishing machine. Well, call Richard Gene up for me. I reached out to him a year or two back and never... Never got a response on the email. So if you can get in touch with him and arrange it, I will gladly fish with Richard Gene. Christian Gabers wants to know what is the largest channel cat you caught? I don't know that I've ever really paid attention. <laughs> what What is, I mean, what would a big one be? Around here, probably 15 pounds, really? but they get big up north and out west. I got you. We just don't grow them that big here. I think they just in competition, you know, the blues and the flatheads, the channel is kind of competing for the food. Just don't get as big. Yeah, it's hard to keep up. Uh, you ain't lying. How many people? We got 530 people still. Yeah. Why are you not catching fish, brother? Well, we suck at fishing. <laughs> we suck at it. I got two terrible fishing guides here with me. This one over here showed up about half hour late. Didn't bring any supplies. Had to re-spool a reel when he got here. This is what I'm working with tonight, and you wonder why I can't catch no fish. <laughs> there you go, catfishing for dummies. Yeah, I, I play yeah. down to my to my talent around me. Five dollars, Phil Fry Outdoors. Thanks for your hard work. You inspired me to start his channel. Well, good luck with your channel, and thank you for the content cash, Phil yeah, Fry Outdoors. There was one, somebody's mother was a police officer we wanted to give a shout out to. Okay. Celia. We support the blue on this channel, so right, I'll go. shout them out. 
Hunter uh, Wortman, can you thank my mom, Celia, for her service, please? She is a police officer. What, what's the name? Celia? S-I-L-A. Scylla? S-I-L-A? Mm -hmm. Sila or Sila, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but thank you for your service. We support the blue here on the Kayak Catfish channel, so thank you for your hard work. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. It's it's We're Southern. We can't pronounce nothing. James Sykes is going to be on Douglas Lake in mid-June. Any advice on Douglas? You fish Douglas much? No, go ahead. Give him advice? Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't ever fish up there. You, yeah, you do it I mean, all the time. So. Uh, I know, you know, I would probably fish. Mud Creek. Mud Creek on Douglas? Mud Creek on Douglas. He's Where's done real Creek? good on Where's Douglas. Uh, it's up from, um, Is that bass or catfish advice? Bass, bass yeah. yeah. If, you're, if you're bass fishing, Mud Creek, if you're catfishing, I think I would probably go... No, I'd go. Uh, I'd go up there where the Nolichucky and the pigeon come in, because that's yeah, that's an confluence areas are some, always some good. Di some dynamite areas, and there's that, that lake. That lake is um, probably one of the most significant winter drawdowns in this area, and it's probably full pool now or, or approaching full pool. And there's some big silos out there just down below from where the Nolichucky and the big pigeon come in. I wouldn't think that wouldn't be a terrible place if you're looking to catfish. But again, we're catfishing for dummies out here, and we ain't caught no fish. So I don't yeah. know if you want to listen to me. Yeah, don't don't listen to us. We got ten dollars from Kalina Fryer, North Dakota State Record. Kalina, Channel back Cat. with some more. Thank channel you. Channel Cat is forty eight pounds. All right. Yeah, at least they've got big channel cats. Yeah, they do have big channel cats. T.J. Davis donated a dollar. No comment. Thank you, T.J. Well. Maybe the talking is scaring the fish away. Yeah, well. Kalina's turning into a big donor on this channel. I, I like her. <laughs> her and Becca, they all right. Content cast. Captain Haphazard, have you ever fished Arkansas? I've never been. I flew over Arkansas. I ain't never been there. I have fished Wachita, which was a lot of fun. James Casey, have you ever used chicken as as you ever use chicken breast as bait? Yeah, I've got some videos on the channel using chicken. I use it when I'm catching small ones or targeting small ones. Come down south to Louisiana. Let me put you on some big redfish. I will take you up on that, Conway Critty, because mm -hmm. I've been down there to Venice, and, boy, that is some fun out of the kayak. Yeah, Pro Moderator goes down there. He's got a regular trip they do down there to Venice. I don't get invited, you know. They don't. They don't want me down there with they them. They don't have whatever. a Ritz Carlton in Venice, so you know YouTube well, royalty don't want to stay. At, I know, ain't staying no FEMA trailer in a, in down a tent. there. <clears throat> Seven thirty-one catfish. Would you be willing to come out here to West Tennessee and fish? Maybe. Man. Now maybe Daniel, if the Daniel situation says, arises. Daniel says. I, and Daniel says for twenty-four ninety-nine. Twenty-four ninety-nine. All right. Keep up the good work, Justin. I love the way you speak your mind and joking around with you guys do. P.S. Eric, Plug Power is great and has treated me good as well. I know he didn't write that. He sure shit did. Uh, <laughs> Daniel, what Daniel, what price did you buy in on Plug Power? Because yeah. it's lost about what two over half, three quarters of its value in the It'll last month. Right. Twenty dollars. Only thing getting caught is a buzz by Pro Moderator. That's the truth. This is my first cider. As far as y'all know. Well, he golfed today. He's had more than that, I, I promise you. I didn't drink you. on the golf course. I dominated. Because I knew I had a job tonight. Some of us take these volunteer jobs seriously. Well, I'm glad you mentioned volunteer. Yeah, no shit. What are you doing? You about to fall out of that thing over there? Oh, boy. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. I broke my light. 9.99, Aaron Christensen. 9.99. My, dad, my dad's going through some health stuff and can't get out on the water a while. Can I get a shout out for my dad, Alan? Well, you Pop sure can. Keep his head up, and we'll get out there before the year is up. Where is uh? Who who is it? Um, uh, his dad is Alan, and it's Aaron Christensen. Aaron Christensen. Alan is the dad, correct? He say he's going through some health problems. Correct. Well, Alan, I hope you get to feeling better, man. I hope you can get out on the water soon. I wish you a speedy recovery with whatever you're going through man tj davis and thank you for the comment and the and the super chat there aaron we're gonna give tj davis his money back he says i love watching you guys not catch fish it makes me feel better <laughs> <laughs> you can keep your five dollars tj <laughs> <laughs> thank you tj i appreciate the content cash there 
This is what you don't see on the edited videos. I edit all this part out where I'm just sitting and waiting. Michael McDaniels, his thoughts on Kentucky Lake catfishing. He thought you know, on I don't. Lake. It ought to be pretty good. Now, I've never been out there, but I know they got the, the uh, Asian carp problem. I bet if you got them carp and netted them yeah. and used those as bait. I would definitely money. use them as yeah. bait. I think everything in that lake is eating those things. They got to be at this uh, point. It has to be. Yeah. If you got that much of one food source, it's probably a good bait to use. But no, I've never fished Kentucky Lake. I'd love to fish Ray Roberts, Hunter. That would be a, that, that, that'd be a nice, fun place to fish. Tanner wants to know if we do any deer hunting. I do not, but I do want to shoot a turkey in the face, I do believe, because yeah. they taste fantastic. I don't do no hunting either. Eric, you do any hunting? Um, I have, but I really want to get really big into it next year. You're going big into it next year, huh? I'm going to try. Everything's always next year. Everything's always next year. I got so much stuff I'm going to do next year. Check your baits. Bait check for $5. Oh, bait check. <laughs> we ain't checking no baits, so we got a fish on there. <laughs> Thank you for the content cash, though. That's right. I'm going to check that bait when I pull in a flathead and this thing's over with. Mm -hmm. Nicholas loves our kayak. I don't know if he's talking to Justin or to me, but I will, while I've got the opportunity, give a oh shout out. Oh, my God. Don't go, my God, me. Just don't. don't Just do, do it. Do not. This is your payment for tonight, right? That's correct. Right that is correct go go for it my my wonderful sponsor <laughs> who has been lavishing in facebook jail for several weeks if not longer uh, which i hope is watching or will watch at some point uh frontier firearms frontier outdoors usa in kingston tennessee which we're not real far from kingston no, i not. guess we're in we're down the road kingston proper ish yeah zip code wise yeah um, he provided this Hobie Pro Angler 14 with kick-up fins and all the accessories for my tournament season this year. So a special shout out to Frontier Outdoors. If you're in the marketplace and you need accessories, kayaks, firearms, shooting range. There you go. Extra cat hair. I mean, you name it. There is a cat down there. I know There's for sure. several cats. <laughs> Speaking of cats, which we hadn't caught any. You know, $20, Manscaped. $20, $20 from Stephen Murray. Stephen Murray. Man. Oh, man. he's uh, He fishes here. Yeah, he he's on he Watts Bar. exactly where we're at. Yeah. I'm sure he does. Well, he's lived the, here his hey, whole what, life. What are we doing wrong, man? Yeah, Stephen, tell us how to catch a damn fish here because I can't do it, buddy. Thank you for that super chat, though. You almost won. Ryan here won the reel. He still ain't showed up to claim it. He was... Ticket number 66. Steven, you had tickets number 62 through 65. You were so close to winning that reel. And it would have been so much more convenient for you to win it because I could have just delivered it to you personally. <laughs> now we're looking for somebody named Ryan who may we never show may up not, again. He may not exist. We might, we, might, <laughs> we might be doing another one of these to draw for somebody that's real. That was a bot. I, I blame Eric Romines for pulling number 66 out of the damn random number generator. You know who we need to, and you, you spent for half an hour plugging Frontier. We need to be plugging <laughs> Holly Tridell CNC Outdoors for sponsoring this tonight and giving us. I mean, come on, you didn't even put your hat on. I mean, what kind of, what kind of celebrity uh, are you? Because I wear the Vols look, hat. Look, I know that's a Bill Dance thing. This, this is, is Vols. This is, this is, this is paying the bills I'll wear tonight. this. I'll wear this sometime. You need to wear it right now. Well, no, by God. Matches your shirt. Well, I don't color coordinate. I know that's right. This ain't queer eye for the straight guy out here. Well, <laughs> I mean, it is when you in the video, but <laughs> it's, it's certainly catfishing for dummies. I just, I, I had about twelve people report me just then. I guarantee uh, to you. I'm sure. James Folan for nine ninety nine. James Folan, thank you, my man. Where's this fish at? Somebody said that they're getting a PA one eighty fourteen tomorrow. Marshall Hunter 07. Love your videos, man. I'm picking up a Mirage PA one eighty fourteen tomorrow. Congrats on the boat. Well, yeah, congratulations. You've probably only been waiting six months to get it. Chastity Blankenship wants to know uh, what's the best kayak for her husband, who's 6'4 and 300 pounds. And I would say what we're sitting in right now would be yeah. fine and dandy. A, a Pro Angler, Hobie Pro Angler 14, which you could pick up at Frontier Outdoors oh my God. in Kingston, Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hobie's uh, native Titan would be a good one for him. The Old Town Sportsman Autopilot's got a high weight capacity. Jackson Big Rig's another one that's uh, that's good for larger uh, people. 
Kevin All those are really know stable. If I used Manscape on my face. Did you give me some samples of Manscape? Uh, no, but I can get you twenty percent off and free shipping if you use the code uh, <laughs> Catfish. I believe it is. Everybody, What's the damn truth? It's, it's, it's the witching air hour, and we're pimping out all of our sponsors here. So we've got Manscaped, Frontier. Well, Manscaped only bought 30 seconds, Catfish so we don't Sumo, have to plug Catfish them anymore. Catfish Sumo. Catfish Sumo is the one we need to be plugging. The University of Volunteer, Tennessee, which is just sad. $2. Get rid of that orange hat. Yeah, I hear It'll that. take more than $2 to get rid of this hat, but thank you for the content, Cash. Have you ever fished the James River in Virginia? I have not. It's on a to-do list. He died, didn't he? Facebook jail is all. I thought Bobby Allison died in the NASCAR. No, that was Davy Allison. That was Richard Petty. <laughs> Richard Petty's still alive, I think. Dale Earnhardt smashed in the wall. He's yeah, Dale, Dale. I don't follow NASCAR. <laughs> Eric over here, he used to work for NASCAR. Fun fact. Can you, can you shout out to my cousin's channel? It's called EP Outdoors. Shout out EP Outdoors. EP there you Outdoors. go. Outdoors. Roll Tide Rolls. You're blocked. Block yeah, Josh block, We block Alabama. Block him. Block, block, block. Yeah. Alabama people. <laughs> they everywhere. Everybody's an Alabama fan when they win them. It takes dedication to be a Vols fan for the 20 years of suck that we've had. This is going to be the worst team we've ever filled this year. What are you laughing at over at Romines? I'm laughing at Kevin's trophy, Catton and Bassin. Hey, Justin, there's no fish putting hair on your balls out on the live street. Boy, that's the damn truth. My balls are hairless out here tonight, ain't they? I don't need Manscaped tonight. These fish are doing it for me. Got the ball alopecia tonight. Facebook is a <laughs> bunch of commies from Brian Forrest. Yeah, that's the truth. Your sponsor... Brant Williams, Frontier Outdoors, would agree with that, would he not? Somebody said we missed a couple of Super Chats. Well, by God, I got a lousy moderator. I probably have. No, I got TJ. TJ, yeah, I got that one. Oh, wait a minute. Here's this one. Terry McKinney, $10. Well, it just now, it, I mean, I can't, you know, I can't well, I see get, it. Get, get your shit together here. I, I got AT&T, dog. I'd like to thank my sponsor, Bold Rock, Cider, <laughs> Pro Bars. Well, read Terry's bars. comment. They give ten dollars. Yeah, I drive a truck over the road and have been going through Tennessee recently. If you're ever at the steam plant, I have an air horn. I've seen you on the clinch. You get my, you get me through long hours of driving. Well, be careful out there. Hey, be let's safe give on the road. Shout out to these truckers, man. That's a, that's a. That's well, they are keeping us running right now. They keep America running, and, and this whole gas crap is, is gas not, shortage not, and not, the, not a good thing. But and uh, the pandemic and all that. Y'all stay safe out there. And you say we missed Anthony Moore? No. How much? Well, Anthony Moore, I'm sorry if we missed you. It's not. I'm not. It's not coming on there. So it's quick. Justin, I'm paying five dollars more just to send a message for my wife. Okay. I saw that. We, for I the love of God, Justin, it's in his throat. Let him have it. Bait okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, it's because I take these. They take the bait out of the fish's mouth all the time. Cause you keep, you keep, you want. She wants you to let the the fish have it. Yeah, you should do that. You know, if you watch my videos, you know you'd be okay. able to pick up on this I, stuff. This is hard enough for me to get through and <laughs> sit to sit in front of a damn device and watch this shiznit. You should just be playing it on a loop in your house. When you're away, your dogs want to watch me on TV. They could be making me so much money every day, set through the ads. Jackman. You, you did a jacks? Jack catch can, which that's no longer there anymore. They don't use that position. And I was a tire changer for a couple of races. Okay. Rear tire changer. Greg right. Worrell there you go. wants to know why we're not using the tail section, but we got a tail section on here, don't we? Yeah, we cut the actual tail off. We got the rear part. He wants to know why you don't use the tail. I don't really like it. Um, there just you go. Historically, most of my big fish have come on the heads and that midsection right behind the head. And so, if I got a surplus of bait, I'll just throw out the tails. James, if I'm short on bait, I'll use them, though. James Folan wants to know if you and Elias are going to collaborate. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, uh, he just sent me some baits. That was real nice of him. But, yeah, well, I'm going to try to get over there when uh, sharks move in over there. I think he's in Wrightsville Beach, I believe. And uh, go over there and do some fishing with him. I, it's, I'm looking forward to it because catching the sharks like on my bucket list, too. That's high up on there. Now, I'm a big fan of Elias's channel. He's somebody kind of like me, no nonsense, goes out there with the goal of catching fish every time he goes out. And that's that's what I do every time I go out, is try to catch some fish. Failing at it miserably tonight, 
<laughs> but that was the goal coming out here. Where's Ryan at? Where the hell is Ryan? <laughs> Ryan, why are you not watching? Where are you? We're trying to give you a reel. $130, $150 reel. Creek Beater saying his prediction is we'll have a fish on in 10 minutes. God, I hope so. Well, probably because we're going to end the live stream yeah. in nine minutes. That's, yeah, that's probably why. Thought Gun. Oh, he, he says he uses 8010 Whisker Seeker J's and circles for flatheads. Missed so many runs, and my hookup ratio sucks. Drag loose so I don't lose my rods. Any tips? Well, if you're struggling with that particular model of hook, I'd switch hooks. That's I like a lot, I like a lot the of thought went into that answer, well, ladies I mean, and gentlemen. If it ain't working, change it. <laughs> but no, I like the uh, Mustad Demon Circles. They're a really good hook for flatheads. I seem to get a pretty good hookup percentage with them versus some of the other hooks I've used in the past. So you might Caleb, want to try them. Caleb Williams, high from Iowa. You know what Iowa stands for, Caleb? No, he's about to offend everybody. <laughs> Tell them what it stands for. Idiots out wandering around. There you go. <laughs> I lived up there. I was one of those idiots. So. Well, you can say it, I, I guess. It. I can't say it. That's right. $50 from Bryce Fifty dollars Holy moly. Who did it? $50? Bryce House. Bryce House. Went to Watts Bar this weekend. Absolutely best calm water, but not much luck. And we'll try again very soon. Well, Bryce, we feel your pain because we ain't having no luck out here on Watts Bar tonight either. He says you've taught him a lot, which he must be being dishonest. And he says he loves your videos, which maybe he's... Being well, that's very <laughs> nice. I appreciate the content, Cash Bryce. Hope you get to make it back out here again soon. What's your favorite section of a cut bluegill to use? Bluegill. Probably the head. I like the head pieces on just about any bait. It smells fishy around here. Is that the bait bucket? It's probably the birds behind us and the parrot lines. We did see something They've super, been shitting super fantastic that he didn't get on film. We, ought to, we, yeah. think, we think the first blue we caught spit up the bluegill and it was kind of floundering on top of the water and a osprey came down and ate it. So, yeah, I didn't get that on camera. No. Botched it. What's the biggest flathead? Bryce, another $50. Are you, 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 Does it, did Bryce double me up here? Bryce is the man. My goodness. Bryce is, man, he's making it rain on me. He's like a roller. nudie bar out here he tonight. This roller. Thank you, I'm Bryce. About. Bryce yeah. is about to knock Becca off here. You ever fish the 10 mile Watts Bar Lake area? Yeah, I've been down there uh, last couple catfishing trips in that area. I've been down there doing real good. That's probably one of the best sections out here in Watts Bar, in my opinion, is the 10 mile area. <laughs> I'm not supposed to do this, but I'm going to do it. Well, anyway. you're going to. I know whatever it is. Derek Parker, why does Catfish Dave catch bigger fish than you, Justin? He has less time to fish than you do. Still enjoy your videos. <laughs> gotta, well, you got to hold them fish a little closer to the camera. That's how they get bigger. You got a long arm it. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. <laughs> the, the people Catfish Dave has in his videos, his his co-stars are definitely better looking than mine out here tonight. That's for C sure. Country Boy has got a good question. He says, he's curious, what's your line and leader set up and why? 40-pound uh, mono uh, for my main line. I went back to mono versus braid because got into the bank fishing and it's more abrasion resistant so uh i just you stuck with it i like also like the mono because i can use green line which kind of shows up better for thumbnails for youtube purposes my leader is 80 pound mono which again is just kind of a heavier leader because the catfish's mouth so abrasive it's like sandpaper texture and it just keeps them from breaking off but uh yeah about a foot long section of 80 pound mono for the leaders and i keep it pretty simple Cooper Glasgow wants to know, will you ever collab with Steve Douglas? I mean, if the opportunity presented itself, I don't I don't uh, personally know Steve. We've interacted, you know, Messenger a few times in the past, but I don't I don't know that he has any interest in fishing with me. I don't see him getting out in the kayak, and I'm not really into the whole boat scene, so I don't know if it happened, but if a chance come up, I would totally do it. There you have it. Five hundred, four hundred ninety-seven people in here. Four hundred ninety-seven people watching us get skunked. Yeah. How long we've been on? An hour and thirty-nine. We've minutes? been ninety-nine minutes here. That's a lot. 
Why do you think it's stupid to weigh fish, but okay to measure them? You're the first fisherman I've heard with that opinion. Everyone else refers to their PB in pounds, not inches. Blind oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Somebody's done triggered me. So yes, weighing fish is stupid. Nobody gives a crap about the weight except for the person who's caught it. If you post a weight on Facebook, YouTube, social media, people's going to call you a liar and everything under the sun. I don't care if your scales were certified. So it's stupid. Measuring fish is also stupid. I only measure them if I'm in a tournament. So uh, you don't see me out here tonight with a measuring board because I ain't in no tournament right now. But yes, measuring and weighing fish is so stupid. Unless you got a, unless you got a state record or some kind, or you're going to win some kind of tournament that's based on weight, it's idiotic. That's my opinion. If, you, if you're just getting in these dick measuring contests online about saying, my, okay, he's cutting me off. Uh, see, that's a soapbox. That's a trigger for me. He's cut. There's he's a just... reason I'm cutting you off. Our, our, our glorious sponsor, CNC Outdoors, Holly Tradell, says want to do another giveaway right now. What's she giving away? I don't know. Who's she giving it to? I don't know. Holly, listen, it's got to be free entry on this because I'm going to get kicked off YouTube. We done <laughs> broke all the rules with the reel. What are you giving away, Holly? I don't see her on there now. I done, It's done blow right by me. Well, that's the story of your life. $5 uh, uh, from John Garrett. No John Garrett, comment. $5. Thank you, John. But listen, y'all, a bunch of you are coming in this weekend to Sevierville Pigeon Forge for the Catfish Conference. You're not going to that? I'm not going to it. But Holly, if you're going to be fishing in the area, Holly Tridale there at CNC Outdoors, she's got you hooked up on bait. She's loaded up with skipjack. So y'all in town, if you're going to be fishing there in West Knoxville and Fort Loudon, it's a good area, especially if you're just going to be fishing off the bank. Get with her there. She'll hook you up on bait. I rambled on for five minutes. You wasn't ready for the next question. $50. Who's $50? Okay. Me? Kalina again? Yay, baby. Kalina is my number one fan Started tonight. recording my once weekly fishing trip. Still working out the ins and outs of it all. Got a channel on here. But it's just a hobby. You inspired me to start recording. Well. Well, Kalina, what's your channel? Let's send some people over to it. That's right. Comment with your channel. If moderator here sees it, we're going to drive some people over to your, to your channel, Kalina. And thank you again, man. You've nothing, loaded me up tonight. Nothing gets past moderator. Don't, don't believe what y'all are hearing out here. Everything gets past moderator. I think some people, like, I'm out. Good night. I'm going night night. Yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we're going to run out of daylight here soon so we can end this crap. Night night. This woman has too much money. <laughs> there ain't no such thing as a woman with too much money. If he is, I'll, I'm marrying that one. Five hundred and eighteen people. Sounds like you have to pay for the shout out. You don't have to pay for the shout out. Oh my Foul God! Fanatics. How many times have we shouted out somebody we, tonight who I mean, ain't paid nothing? You know, Get to hell! I mean, they block their ass. If they're gonna be a pain <laughs> in the ass, block them. I'm not gonna block you, but I just wanted to let you know we've done. There ain't gonna be no negative outs. Nancy's on here. I don't deal with that. Seven three one catfishing could use a shout out for my channel. You just got it. Seven three one catfishing. Check them out. We got bass boater coming by. Gonna interfere with the audio. It's dark. He's bass fishing, but they don't fish past dark around here. We apparently shouldn't be either because we ain't going to catch a damn thing tonight. This is why I can't be a fishing guide right here. I'd get people skunked all the time. That's right. You, I guess you, Holly was just kidding on the, on the giveaway. Yeah, Holly, you, you teased them with a giveaway. What's going on? Somebody's blaming me for not catching fish. They don't understand. Well, he's bad I'm, luck. I'm a shamrock, just uh, like a leprechaun. He's just over here reading comments. He ain't gonna read none of them out loud, apparently. What are you but talking about? You. You're sitting over here in silence. I mean, you know, doing this for free. I'm a volunteer. I've been out of the house all day. My poor dogs are sitting at home hungry, and I'm out here. This man feeds his dogs. No his dogs eat better than I do. Tell them how much you eat your dogs. You eat two and a half pounds of meat a night? My dogs are two boxers. They get two and a half pounds of raw meat. And I go turkey, sardine, rabbit, lamb, pork, beef. How much a month do you venison, spend on your dog's grocery bill? Rabbit. So, so my, uh, my lovely sister and her business... Give a shout out to Natural Pet Supply. 
in Knoxville and Johnson City, Tennessee, they give me the brother discount, which is 100%, unlike... Well, why can't I get a discount? Because you, you ain't got, well, you do have a dog. I do. I need, <laughs> he, I need he, free he meat, too. dog, old Roy. <laughs> My poor dog's getting old Roy, for real, Jason and his is eating Henderson, meat. I'm so glad you asked. What's the money for? It's for content, brother. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't charity work anymore. Yeah, this man this is, quit his job. To, yeah, to I mean, I'm full-time on YouTube now, so. so the money is content yeah. cash. I mean, I, I'm not free. ProMines is definitely not free. And you know, like the guy in the back. We need an upgrade moderator. Sorry, Eric. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Here's the giveaway. Okay, you got a giveaway from Holly. Holly CNC Outdoors. Tell Justin that the next person that super chats seventy five dollars. Oh shit. Will get a hundred dollar prize pack mailed to them from CNC Outdoors. Wow. So they're giving me seventy five dollars total, or one one thing. What I guess it's got to be one thing. He's got super chat seventy five dollars. And they're getting a hundred dollar prize pack. Mail to them from CNC Outdoors. Wow. So free shipping and everything. Who's going to claim that? Is anybody going to claim that prize pack? How's Holly going to get in touch with them? First $75 super chat. Holly's making it rain on me tonight. From CNC Outdoors. Is she going to give them any hints of what's in it? Put that damn hat on. I mean, just put it on. I don't wear, I wear UT hat. Oh my God. Just see how you do with YouTube royalty. It may not fit. I'm very particular about a hat. I, I, it's, this is not the hat I would choose, but you see I'm rocking it like a pimp. I don't know what you call it, rocking it. You, well, I'm, I think I'm rocking it. I mean, you might rock it at the Waffle House tonight. You might go home with one of them, but that's the only action you're getting. I, I'm not scared of the Waffle House. It's delicious. Well, I, I know. I, I, love, I heard the stories. Stuff, I love it. I love a dark water. You would think, I mean, I've had fish here on the graph. I mean, I've seen them come up periodically, but they ain't. Billy, we can't get on to even tap these baits. Billy Billy Van wants to know what does heck far mean? Heck far. Heck far. <laughs> That's PG for hell far. I don't think the, I don't, oh, there's $5 from Catfish Reaper. Rather you use Skunk Live than in videos. <laughs> That's the truth. You won't see me. Thank you for the donation, Catfish Reaper. You won't see a skunk video out of me on a, on a regular upload. I ain't one of them type YouTubers. All right, guys. That's a view. All right, guys. $75 Super Chat gets a $100 gift package from CNC Outdoors. And I know Holly personally. And let me tell you, there it is. Who is there it? it is. Terry McKinney. I didn't even have to stick to Terry McKinney. There it McKinney. is. Terry Let's McKinney. Go. Listen, Let's go. What's Holly's what's Holly's contact for Terry McKinney? Message her on a CNC Outdoors Facebook page. CNC Outdoors Facebook page, Terry. Uh, reach out to her, send her a message through there, and she's going to send you that prize pack to your house there. She ain't going to sell his personal information. Eric ain't paying attention. Your personal information ain't going to get sold or nothing like that, but reach out to her on Facebook, CNC Outdoors. She's in, what? What is, is it Concord or is it Farragut? Knoxville. Knoxville on there. Uh, but her her business page is on there, and she'll hook you up. So thank you for that, man. I hope that prize pack is, <laughs> catches you a lot photo of fish. Bo photo Bob says she's got $100 worth of frozen shad coming. <laughs> My God. She might could make That's that happen, terrible. actually. That's not terrible. Oh, they could get worse things. That's awesome. Chastity Blankenship, God love you. I, I wish we could. You guys going to show us how to catch a fish. I, you know what? We try. And again, thank you, Holly, CNC Outdoors. Hooking us up with the reel, the die with Seagate reel that Ryan has won if he ever shows up to claim it. Nobody and this seventy or this hundred dollar prize pack going to Terry. Awesome. Best Everybody bait shop in East Tennessee. Ever used fish brain? I don't even know what fish brain is. Do you know what it's it is? It's an app. You ever use it? I have not. I they ProMines use fish brain? No. Does no. it give you like a major and a minor and all that stuff? It's like a it's like Instagram, I think. They they offered me a pile of money to do a review video, and I, I took a look at the app, and I was like, this is garbage. I can't sell this to people, so I, I turned it down. You certainly can't now. Well, you know, they'll, they'll never ask me again, will they, to, to sell something for them. But. Uh, uh, Mike Hewlin says, do, do you use Navionics? I do use Navionics. Yeah, that that's, is, that's uh, my, I got the Navionics chip here and my, and my graph here. Use it all the time. Creek beaters like this brain thinks it's all. Here's awesome. another fish coming up here licking our baits and, and just saying, from it's saying F you, it don't want to eat. 
Amazon, Who gave me five dollars? Amazon Catfish. Amazon Catfish. Thank you for the Sorry, content I'm cash. Sorry, I'm not made of money. It's only five for me. Congrats, Justin, on new career and my kayak up here in Ohio, looking for some dang old channels. Well, I hope you get them channels. I certainly, I'd take a channel tonight just to get the skunk out on this live stream. Kane Bowers wants to know what type of reels we're using. I got dye with Seagate reels. I got oh, the 35 model. Yeah, we just gave the 30 model away if Ryan will show up and claim it. I don't know Ryan's last name. I mean, literally, of all people to win this thing, it's the person with a one-word name on YouTube. I mean, <laughs> that's our luck tonight. Oh, Holly's lagging. She can't. Holly's lagging? You got a rod to going down there, buddy. We hey, getting a fish. We got the skunk out on the pro mine. Shows up an hour late. There he goes. No skunk tonight, baby. Oh, you blew it. Gosh. That was our only shot tonight, Eric. The witching hour. Oh my gosh. Maddie Hopper wants to know if they can be right. He blew it. Way to go, Romines over here. Go back to NASCAR, buddy. Back you got any more bait? Yeah. Okay. Man, I thought we had us one there. Yeah, that's a good one. You blew it. He took me that way. Gosh dang it. At least you're consistent with your... <laughs> yeah, it don't matter if he's bass fishing or catfish and he loses them all. <laughs> I I'm sorry, that was wrong. <laughs> We're right here, right here at dusk now. I mean, this is this is the time to be catching a fish if we're gonna get one. We still got this live bluegill here. We got the pieces of cut skipjack on Eric's side that ain't been touched. That's a giant midsection. What's your money? What's your money total there, content? Let's cash? see what we're at here. I don't get that on mine. I don't think I get it on mine either now. Oh wait a minute! I about oh I about ended it here. Hold on. Oh boy. Cancel that. Uh, oh, here it is, nine ninety four. Oh, we're almost we at a thousand. Up to four digits. We need six more dollars. Come on now. Any chance of you doing a video on Navionics? Uh, probably not for me. I don't think it would be a, a big hit with my computer or lack of computer skills. But I'll tell you, if you want to learn about contour maps and how to read them and how fish move on them, the best resource out there is the Buck Perry Structure Fishing Book Series. It's a bass fishing. Uh, kind of structure fishing how-to guide, but it's it's applicable to catfish too. And that changed my fishing, man. When I started reading those books and applying that, best money I spent was on them books. It really makes a difference. So hopefully you'll check those out and and get some get some help from them. Chris Lassiter wants a shout out for his daughter Chloe. Chloe, thanks for watching the channel, Chloe. That's a great question, Bill Hamlin. I often ask the same thing because it makes no good sense to me. Why do you use reels with no line guides? I use reels <laughs> with no line guide just to give my moderator hell and make because a fool he, of him. He is a re something, but you can't <laughs> say that in 2021 on live TV because you'll get in trouble with yeah. the YouTube police. The, the advantage to these reels when you are, uh, especially when I'm out on the bank and need to make longer casts, that level wind, with, with the non level wind, I should say, you get about 10 more yards per cast. Also, you got a little bit smoother drag because the line's not working back on that on the level line there. So I like those. And these reels in particular, you got 48 inches per handle turn. And once you go to that high speed reel, it's hard to go back to like a Abu style where you get 26, 28 inches per handle turn. So. We just got 17 more dollars. 10. 17 more dollars. Oh, it's coming in. Here's six dollars, seven dollars, and ten dollars. Catfish Woo! Reaper for ten. No comment. Catfish Reapers loaded me up tonight. Central Texas fishing for seven dollars. Wanted to push push us over the thousand dollars. Thank mark. you, Central Texas Zach fishing. Mazza, there's your six dollars. Awesome channel. Thank you, Zach. Man, you all are awesome tonight. We over a thousand. That's right. 1K Richard, tonight. Richard Taylor says he's the one word name guy who won the prize. Yeah, that's me. I don't know if we believe you, Richard Taylor. Yeah, we're going to need to see some proof yeah, of Ryan need here. Some identification. Another $6. Uh, get rid of that ugly hat. With the CNC <laughs> Outdoors hat here? No, no, the one you're wearing. <laughs> that's, they ain't talking about my UT hat. They're talking about this CNC Outdoors hat that Holly gave me. Oh, that's great. Fishing the Mid-South wants to know what. why don't you use hot dogs from catfish bait? 
because it's garbage. We, we should have brought hot dog. I think we'd have caught something <laughs> on hot dog tonight. Better than the crap we are using. Six, another six dollars. I just need to ask for six dollars. Everybody's firing it up. We appreciate this. I'll send you a link to my channel once I get my video up from last night. Much not on there yet. My friends call it, call me Callie. It's pronounced Callie. Kalina. Callie. Okay. And you it's and it's what Callie? Uh, she said she'd send you a link. Uh, Callie. Okay. Yeah. K A L I. Pronounced like Callie. Okay, there you go, folks. Check out Leon, check out Callie because Kalina has loaded me up with a lot of money tonight. Nine ninety nine from Leon, Leon Barry. Nine ninety nine. Sent a super sticker there. Is that what that is? A super well, it's got a little. It's got super a little cartoon hero? character. Is that, is that Superman? Yeah, it's got a cartoon character. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Leon's all right. Strawberry chicken is what we need from Jason Smith. Well, that's what that's what the Dieter Melhorns will tell you. Yeah, Brian, if you only knew, he said, we know who's buying supper and beer. He, this guy, he doesn't, he don't buy anything. I told you I was going to take you out to eat for your birthday. Did for you my ever, birthday, right? Did I mean, you ever take me up on it? Hell no, you didn't. I don't want to go to Golden Corral. I mean, you know. They got that chocolate fountain. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Who don't like the chocolate fountain at the Golden Corral? 1999. I know your ass is eating a chocolate fountain. No comment from Creek, Bader, Creek, wrong, Creek Beaters. Right well, it is. Have you caught anything? Come on now, quit, quit, quit joking. We don't, we don't catch fish on live streams. That's a dumb question. Four hundred and eighty-two people watching who's, this garbage. Who's <laughs> Creek Beaters TV? Nineteen ninety-nine. You missed that no, one. No, I didn't. I just said Creek Beaters got you nineteen ninety-nine. Well, my gosh, I See? just heard it. So there you go. Thank you, Creek Beaters TV. It's past his bedtime. Albert's a big Golden Corral fan. I mean, they got that chocolate fountain. Have you? Oh, God. Ken Cobb says you'd have better luck wearing a Clemson hat. Oof, I was just in Clemson. Yeah, I'd rather. They still got that girl playing quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> she's she's uh, got beautiful she's, hair. She's in the pros now, I think. <laughs> I think I think she's gonna lose some games down there in Jacksonville, ain't she? You might get the Rona if you use that chocolate fountain. Too many kids put their fingers in the chocolate fountain. <laughs> <laughs> <That is right. laughs> oh, Justin, you are a badass. Not really, Ken Cobb. You, you're not really. Five dollars. Come on down to the Mississippi and chase redfish with me. You're well, I need to make it down there sometime. Fun. Thank you for the, the thank you for the content cash there. Michael, you ever see those giant catfish caught when they're throwing the tuna in there and the and and you know when they're cleaning fish at those fish cleaning stations on the Mississippi? Man, there's some absolute monsters. That would be a, a an interesting thing. To yeah, I, I definitely want to do that kind of video if I go down there to go to like he said them fish cleaning stations and there's just a where they're basically just chumming up in big catfish every day when the guides come back. Straight chum. It's the chum bite. Fred W. wants to know, are we superstitious? I mean, no, I'm not. I don't know about the rest of this crew. Well, I'm willing to walk under a ladder to catch a damn fish out here on this live stream. If that's what it takes, I'll do it. Papa Ray wants to drink a beer with Justin. It's not, it's overrated. It's, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm more of a Coke and Pepsi kind of guy, so I'm not the life of the party. Are you on break again, or? You just you just hanging out over there. Don't look over at them rods. There ain't no fish over there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Derek Parker, man, if y'all ever do live and catch a fish, you'd make a bunch of money. Well, that's it's a damn it's truth. It's We'd be at ten thousand dollars if we catch a fish on this thing. For catching nothing. That's, a, <laughs> that's a fact, Jack. You know who's jealous as hell is fishing with Billy. Billy Clabaugh. He posts skunk videos all the time. Can't make a dime. I'm out here making a thousand dollars of content cash tonight. Not catching anything. Why <laughs> the Thrasher got skunked at Lake Hartwell? I got pretty much skunked at Lake Hartwell. He got his all, ass kicked at Lake Hartwell all, in the Hopi all, tournament all weekend. Uh -uh. Any more carp? Do what? Didn't throw a cinco, did you? No, I didn't. I told you him throw the gulp. You know I don't. You know I don't throw a cinco. The guys that did well did. Yeah. I thought everything would be postponed, and and I and I. I had the opportunities on Saturday to, to, to be right in the thick of it. I've missed two good ones that come loose. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Fishing story. But he lost. That's right. But I'm still top-rated kayak angler in the state of Tennessee. Second, maybe. Yeah, second maybe behind me. PKA here. Only because I don't fish them. I'm going to go. <laughs> 
That, that is true. That is very true. Do you like turtles? Well, I had a pet turtle back in the oh day. Oh, my God. I did. His name was White Boy. I smuggled him in from the Bahamas. White Boy? His name, because down there in Bahamas, everybody called me White Boy. Oh, my God. And I put him in my pocket and walked right through customs. I had him for years. You oh, my. You're totally, this is coming back. Yep. The Homeland Security is going to be at your house. Yeah, they probably will. That shows what kind of customs we had. I walked right through with my, with him in my pocket. What would you say, Eric? So, better check the statute of limitations, Eric. No kidding. Yeah. <clears throat> Been a long time. Middle Tennessee Cats, what would you say is a great tip for first-time YouTube videos for editing vids, kayak, fish, nick and jack, and Gunnersville? Tips for YouTube vids? Or? Mm -hmm. For uh, editing vids, I guess. Oh, uh, well, I mean, for fishing vids, I mean, I'd start out keeping it simple. Uh, iMovie. People seem to like the chest cam footage, like the first-person view, so... That was kind of a mistake I made early on in my channel. I had the camera up front in my kayak facing me because I'm old and I grew up watching Bill Dance and Roland Martin and those guys had cameras pointed at them. But the people today who's spending all their time on YouTube, they grew up playing video games and first person shooter games. So I think the when I went to the chess cams, when my views really started going up, so that'd probably be the number one piece of editing advice as far as filming goes and all that. What? Just the silence. The silence. There ain't no silence. We got these birds up here the on the power lines. We'll shut the, the hell up. Silence is deafening. How long we been at this crap? No, we about out of daylight. Two hours we've been at this Coach now. Coach Shane, I did not fish Dardanelle. I wish I would have. Uh, it looked like it fished really, really well. I fished the first three Hobies. Uh, did um, Seminole, Watts Bar, and um, Broken Bow. And then Hartwell, I did last week, was my fourth. And then I planned to do Pickwick. And then I've qualified for the Tournament of Champions in Eufaula in November, which uh, I'm excited about. How much How much money have you lost in entry fees to get qualified for that tournament now? I mean, it's a tax write-off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not the only he, one. He's about, only... he's about $8,000 in expenses we, we, into we this. Got, we, got, we got the same accountant. You know? I mean, <laughs> well, we you know, do. Jim Long is CPA. Yeah. That's a free yeah, shout-out. Yeah, yeah. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Longus CPA Firm, for yeah. understanding what we do. Yeah, thank you, Jim Longus. I just wrote a $10,000 check to the IRS, so thanks, Jim. Appreciate okay. it. <clears throat> hey, Justin. Hey, yo. Somebody said, let me find it. Love Bill Dance. You going to do a blooper video? I need to someday. They didn't catch the one where me and you were putting Yeah, well, that day you about put my eye out, that's definitely going to make the, the blooper video. And then you about losing a rod. Yeah. Yeah, when I do a blooper video, Eric Romine's fishing on YouTube. He's going to be in it. What I probably need to do for the blooper video is film uh, some sections of tonight here where us not catching Jack Diddley doo doo for two hours on this live stream. There is. Uh, We're going to reel up these baits and there won't be a bait on them. Probably not. Um, somebody's asking for tips at Hartwell, and I'm assuming they're catfish. Matty, um, Mattia Harper. I don't ever, I ain't never fished Hartwell. Well, I, I was, you know, I was there Wednesday through Sunday, and what I would, what I noticed, you know, everybody talks about it being a, a herring lake, and I think they call them alewives. Um, so, you know, any, you know, if you can get your hands on alewives, I don't know if you have to cast net those or if there's a way to catch them, but that place was absolutely littered with bluegill. So I would imagine, you know, fishing your creek mouse, your creek channels, and, um, that place was interesting because you kind of had you maybe in a mile stretch you'd have crystal clear water and then you'd have just orange juice milk dirty mud water you know and i, I think you know you, you kind of find that water line and would probably be a good place to fish but i would tell you that if you can find you know live bluegills cut bluegills or if you could get your hands on the herring which i think they call alewives which i think is kind of like a gizzard shad mm. just based on what they look like on the interweb that would probably be my tip for Hartwell. There you go. There you have it. Pro advice from pro moderator, Eric Thomason. Blossy Bice says, who's your favorite pro famous bass fisherman? <clears throat> you know, oddly enough, I don't follow those too closely. Um, Got to be Bill Dance, though. I mean, hell, he was well, on TV I mean, our whole life. School, but, but, like, you know, local guy that, you know, that, that's just, just setting the world on fire is Ot Defoe, and, and I've, been fortunate enough to meet him and talk to him and i mean he's just a stand-up guy and hmm. 
he's uh, he's a current one that I would say is is probably right up there. You ever fish Forks of the River, Holston, the French Broad? Absolutely. Yeah, up there at up the LA, yeah, like downtown there at the, Knoxville. Yeah, I don't go up there in the kayak much, but off the bank up there, there's when the skips are running. Yeah. He said he bet, uh, like I said, he bet met Odd at the Bassmaster Classic. <clears throat> Bluebacks won't stay stay alive long enough. Bubblers are not. Got to live. Got to got to be got to be live to get that bite. Somebody wants to see a catch clean and cook. Is Eric Romine? Yeah, I get that a lot, the catch, clean, and cook request, and I don't, I don't, I won't do it, because one, this ain't a cooking channel, and two, we can't eat nothing out here. I mean, anything that I would catch would just be, you know, there's advisory warnings up not to eat everything out here, so that probably won't ever happen for my channel. Jennifer uh, Roberts wants to know if we'd recommend going to South Holston Lake. I mean, I, you know, I know a little bit about that up there. It's beautiful lakes, full of smallmouth. Um, from a catfish perspective, you, you might probably do better at Boone or Watauga, which is, you know, probably within, you know, a few minutes uh, of drive time. I'd say it's probably a lot of channel cat up there in that colder water, I'd say. Probably. Nashville, Tennessee says hello. Bear with me a second, people. Here, I got a about to rig up a light here since since pro moderators going the distance. <laughs> we'll see we if need, we need some content cash. It's 906. 906. God we're almighty, we've been out this for two hours. Two hours and six minutes. We'll go till 915. And if we get content cash, we'll keep going. If we don't, we're gonna shut her down. How's this? Let's see if we can. Let me see if I can jimmy rig this up here. Yeah, you botched it. You was our one shot tonight, Eric. Let me see if I can maybe point this down and get a little bit of light on us. Bear with me here, y'all. This is a new light setup I'm working on. Asks, is pro moderator of bass fish in Illinois. Um, you know, I lived in Iowa for about three years, and I fished um, How's that right, right on the there? border there. In the well, I'm lit up like a damn Christmas tree now. <laughs> I fished the duck, the I believe it was the Duck River that that flowed into the Mississippi, which the Mississippi where I lived was the border between Iowa and Illinois. So uh, I would say Mississippi River is is about as close to Illinois bass fishing as I've done. This is a good test for me with this light because I've normally had the light pole that's way up above me shining down, and so now I'm trying this one out. It's a little bit lower. I don't fish at night much anymore because, well, people don't watch night videos. The numbers don't lie, you know, so I've been trying to stick with daytime stuff, but. What you, are you over mumbling about? No, I, I'll tell you later. <clears throat> oh, some idiot on there that needs blocked? No, no, not really. Yeah. Um, Dang, blinding, I'll tell you that. Is this just a chatting channel? <laughs> yeah, that's all it is tonight, <laughs> by gosh. We chatty Kathy out here tonight. We ain't, It ain't no fish catching channel. Do you crappie fish? Sometimes, yeah, I'm better at it in the spring. I'm one of them people, everybody can catch crappie in the spring and I'm one of those people, but the rest of the year, again, I'm hoping to go out there and fish with Mike Baker from Mike Baker Videos. He's an excellent crappie fisherman and I learn something on his videos every time I watch. And so I really want to fish with him at some point. No, Ryan, the real Ryan is just Ryan. Where the hell are you, Ryan? We're trying to give you a real. Show up and claim it. <laughs> My man, we're gonna give it to somebody else here in a couple weeks if you ain't if you ain't claimed it. It's like, where's Waldo? Where's Ryan? Where's Ryan? Anybody seen Ryan? Ryan was one of the people who was probably offended by my ball hair trimmer video. I lost a lot of people over that. You should have seen some of the comments. All the religious stuff. It was oh, crazy. Boy. I'm willing to sacrifice them because I made a bunch of money from it. Richard Taylor says he's Ryan. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I believe Richard Taylor. Richard or not. Taylor. <laughs> Richard Taylor would say he's whatever yeah. Medusa to get that real. <laughs> Lots of Ryan showing up. It's 909. Have you ever fished 
Lake Guntersville or Wilson much? No, it's. I need to branch out, but uh, I went down to Wheeler last year. But I'm gonna get down there some more. <laughs> Word on the lake is the pro moderator got fired for his Thursday night game. That's okay. Yeah, he did. That's okay. That's all right. You want you, that, you, you, listen, you, you, last you, week. You want YouTube royalty to take over? You damn right, right they do. Last okay. week at our Thursday night bass well, tournament. Then I, then I won't have to present myself with the winning checks. I mean, that's a little uncomfortable. Well, you'd have to win one. So. It's a little uncomfortable for me to say, "Hey, I'm you know want to present myself with a uh, envelope yeah, full he, of cash." He got skunked at the last tournament he fished, but he was out of town for the last one, so I had to do the live stream. Highest rated live stream they have ever had. <laughs> Nielsen TV ratings was through the roof because I did it live instead of him. Yeah. We even had cops live. We did. We had an episode of Cops Live in there. Yeah. I said, don't quit your day job, but he did already. He quit it. Yeah. How long have we been at this for real? This is an two hour, hour. Two hours and 10 minutes. 130 minutes. Yeah. That's good. We still got 421 people in here watching us get skunked. I'd love to fish Weiss Lake in Alabama. I haven't fished it, but I hear it's fantastic. Um, but I think that's not too far from Eufaula, which is, like I said, that's on the schedule for November. Z Tim Day. I don't know what it says. Can't please everyone. Just be you and move on. Keep up the good work. That's what I got these moderators for. <laughs> They delete them before I see them. You're fishing a different country. Well, Puerto Rico seemed like a different country. Yeah. I know the Hobie uh, worlds, I think, are going to be out of the country when they make it official. And um, I did not qualify. However, I do know several qualifiers, and I might actually just rain on that parade and go wherever they go to fish for whatever they fish for. Mm. Ryan Kinsey says he's replacing the other Ryan. By God, we're going to replace the other Ryan if his ass don't show up and claim Miss Real. Bart Dustin is in a um, old town autopilot currently. For now. I've had another kayak on order for three months now. God knows when it's going to show up, but uh, another one's coming. Stay tuned. <laughs> it's but, a race to see what's happened. We're going to get the kayak, or we're going to get some catfish sumo rods back in stock. I don't know which is going to happen first. Photo Bob says, I'll buy a sumo rod and nut trimmer just to help. I actually need both. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. <laughs> Jeff and Ben Outdoors wants to know if, we, if you've ever caught a spoonbill. I actually have caught a spoonbill, yeah. several of them over the years. Uh, we used to, probably illegal, we used to snag them with treble hooks uh, years ago. Yeah, I got one on my channel. I, it, hey, we've got it a swam Ryan across that's, my line. Just, that's just a Ryan. Oh, is that him? I don't know. He says, have you caught anything tonight, Justin? Ryan? Ryan, it, where are you being, Mr. Ryan? Ryan, you won the reel. Did you donate money last time? And if so, you are the real winner. Where's, I don't see his thing. He must have, you're behind me, so. Just R Y A N, Ryan. Ryan, this may, this Ryan, could, if you donated, if you donated last time, you've won. We, we know, we know Ryan Kinsey is not the real one. But yeah, Ryan, uh, Ryan, confirm, listen, Ryan, if you're the real Ryan, first off, say you're the real Ryan, and then tell me how much you donated last time, because I can verify that. He hasn't been on long, because he's asking if we've caught anything. Well, <laughs> no, we ain't caught a damn thing. Probably got herpes from sitting so close to Eric over here. But oh, boy. <laughs> about the only thing I've caught tonight. This is exciting. I hope this is the real Ryan. Is a paddlefish and a spoonbill the same thing? Same thing. That's what I thought. Depends on where you're at is what they're called. <laughs> Taylor, nine forty two, nine dollars and forty two cents. Nine dollars and forty two cents. All right. No, 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 no. He's, I think he's trying to say he's right. Because <clears throat> Romine's asked how much he donated last time. Oh well, I know that's not accurate. 
I don't know if you can. Can you do forty two cents? I don't know. I don't know. We had a guy donate uh, euros. You remember that from Ireland? Oh yeah, yeah. Did you ever get that conversion? I don't know that I ever did. <laughs> I'm sure YouTube got it. <laughs> oh, YouTube always gets theirs. <laughs> Maybe people start paying me in Dogecoin. What's the difference between pike and muskie? They both toothy critters. I know that. Yeah, it's different fish, I guess. Pike's all striped up in a muskie for the most part. We don't part. have pike here. We got muskie, but I don't think we, we got pike. pike. Pike's a little more. We are in Tennessee. I think we scared Ryan off. Ryan, my God, where the hell did you go? You, we, I mean, come on. We're trying to give you a real Ryan. You, Ryan, you're the only reason we're staying on live as long as we are. Just hoping your ass would show up, and now you won't respond. They probably just logged on. It's about night night. Went to the bathroom. It's about night night. <laughs> yeah, it's about time to wrap this up here, people. Night night, nine fifteen. What, what time is it? Nine fifteen. Well, nine twenty. Let's end this crap. All right. We've went on about three hours too long. You don't have to sell me on it. Can't catch a damn thing. Skeeters are eating us up. Ron, I'm not the actual one. Just want to know how easy it was to make a new account. Look like your channel settings just, just because it will give you the info. Hmm. So he ain't the real Ryan? I guess not. Well, thanks for being honest, well, Ryan, with no last name. Oh, <laughs> this is somebody showing us how easy it is to, to make an account that just says Ryan. Oh. <laughs> you should have said it was you, dummy. God. You, I mean, you had a free reel. Man. Chastity. I'm gonna have to. There's got to be a way to reach out. Chastity, we were trying to catch a fish before. We I'm gonna try. Fish. I'm gonna click on his thing when I get home and see if I can Look, reach out to him. I know Matthew Scoot, Show Scotch. I uh, got to talk to him and and uh, down at Lake Fork, and he put us on a spot for some trout and redfish. So I certainly do know uh, Matthew Scotch. Excellent angler. Pretty pretty good guy. Hey, before we get off here, did Terry? Eric Romines, you can't see him, he's dark now, but did Terry get hooked up with Holly about the prize pack? I don't know. We'll find out. He made that big donation and won the prize pack from CNC Outdoors, who's again been kind enough to sponsor a giveaway here for y'all. Ryan apparently ain't going to claim his damn reel. We're going to give it to somebody else here in a couple weeks. <laughs> Must be present to win. Got to be present to win. <laughs> That's going to be the next clause going forward. And, uh, but yeah, awesome shop there. She can hook you up on bait if you're in West Knoxville, East Tennessee. Also has a full line of everything you would ever need for bass fishing. She's the, she's the premier bait shop here in East Tennessee. Thomas Clark, buddy, it's past my bedtime. We can quit before we catch a bag blasted fish. Yeah, we're, we, we're going to be quitting. When this live stream ends, we pack it up and get the hell out of here. We've been here since about 6 o'clock. We've yeah. got one small fish and a bite that, that was questionable. Well, two bites because yeah. ProMine's it. jacked it up. Oh, man, that thing felt big, too. Yeah, we got out here, like I said, about 6, and I caught a few bluegill over here by the ramp just so we could have a live bait option, which ain't done nothing for us. So it's been a disaster out here tonight. Terrible fishing guide. This is why you don't, this is why y'all don't really want me to be a fishing guide right here. Eric Flowers, I don't think you've all ever caught anything live. We have caught a couple of fish live, but nothing. Nothing fantastic. worth seeing. Yeah. We wrecked them after we went live the first time we tried it. Yeah. Uh, Here's the problem with going live is out here, anywhere you want to fish, I ain't got no damn cell phone service enough to where you ain't going to buffer the whole time. And so it's kind of a challenge to find where we're going to, or, you know, we could go up on Loudon, which has good cell phone service, but you're going to get beat to death with pleasure boat wake all night. So it's kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't. And I just suck at fishing. That, that's also. <laughs> you believe I get paid to do this crap? Can't catch not one fish on a live stream? It, 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 it keeps you awake at night. <clears throat> Let's do one more and get the hell out of here. One more. One more comment. Who are we shouting out? Whose question are we answering? Is there a place to buy bait in Lenore City like Skipjack or Sad? I mean, you're so close from Lenore yeah. City to CNC. I mean, you're- You're one exit what, away. 20, 20 minutes, so- If that. Yeah, so I would just tell you- CNC that's your, Outdoors. That's your spot, would be CNC Outdoors. We got four rods out, Chris, but it's night-night time for me. We're gonna call it a night. Thank you all for your patronage. 
Yes, thank you everybody who's given us the content cash. We're over a thousand dollars tonight. Thank you. You know, I appreciate all your support. Big thanks over here, Pro Moderator. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Big thanks to Eric Romines, who is the better half of Holly Tridell, who sponsored this video. Ryan, if you ever show up, if you watch this after the fact, reach out to an old boy. I want to give you a reel. Thank you, everybody. Good night. We'll try to do better in the next one.